Hi, Carl. Hello. Recording in progress. Hi, Vincent. Hello. I'm ready for the Canadian trivia. <laughs> I'm kidding. You're going to be sorely disappointed. I know. Yes. I don't know if we have any Canadians doing categories. Let me see. Thanks, Ken. No. Oh. How many provinces and territories are there in Canada? We've had that question before. Yeah. What is yeah. the answer? Uh, a bunch. <laughs> a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> several more than a couple more than a couple that is true how many how many provinces i'm only allowed to answer i think there's eight eight you're close there's actually 10 okay well, i was very close yeah hi kyle hey hey good evening hey can you tell make sure you tell linda thank you for my card that was really sweet and cool Glad you got cool. it. she's on it Sure is. As is the United States Postal Service, apparently. <laughs> that DeJoy. Something else. Sterling's trying to connect to audio. Uh, Bob's chickens are in charge. I'm waiting for a chicken to walk by. We can see a reflection of Bob in the... Careful what you're doing over there. Oh. I got my camera turned around backwards. Oh, well, that's lovely. I was waiting for a chicken. Yeah. There you are. There he is. Hi. Yeah. I got a, I'm still getting set up. I had, I had stuff fall down. I'm going to, you don't need to see this. Okay. Nobody here. Have a great fall. Chickens. Nobody here. <laughs> <laughs> What's the weather like up there in, um, in uh, Calgary. My area is actually pretty good. It snowed a little bit today, but uh, only the sidewalks were slippery. The roads were pretty good. So at least the road that I was traveling on, so. Fantastic. Yeah, so it wasn't too bad. Miserable people here though. It's Aww. pretty bad. Oh yeah, it's pretty bad people are getting more miserable all the time and that's being nice i'm being <laughs> nice I you have something like to do with the weather or is that just in general it's just in general people are getting angrier and angrier and it has um it has to do with covid and the restrictions and uh the government that we have there's a lot more a-holes out there that are getting more bolder as time goes on. And that's just because of, uh, because of the horrible government that we have. And Your government yeah. is horrible? I'll trade you. Oh, yeah. Well, not, not this government. Oh, maybe. Uh, but the here, no, I'd happily trade. Yeah. Oh, where? The only thing that's stopping him from being exactly like Trump is our laws. Wait, is this through do, through uh, uh, Justin through what's his yeah. name? No, it's uh, our premier. Oh. It's like your governor, but it's our premier. provincial government. Okay. Yeah, provincial government, not uh, federal. Boy, if we had a federal, if we had a provincial government like the federal government, we would be. It, we are, our, our province would be just swimming in money. Um, oh. But you know, whenever we have a right wing government, we're always in, in dire straits, always. So, but that's the way it is, I guess. So, hello, all. Hi, Terry. Hello. Welcome back. Wow, we haven't scared Terry off. It's her third time here and we haven't scared her. So that's pretty awesome. I have a bone, I have a bone to pick with Vincent. Oh, no. Uh oh. Actually, it's, your, it's, your, it's, it's the border in Canada. And so I got a bill for my uh, cell phone company today and it was 50% more than normal. Normal, it's the same price every single month. 
So I got an right. offerage for calling Canada for $65 for 48 minutes. Now, the, 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 the weird thing is I didn't know I was calling Canada. I was returning a call which had its typical 10 digit US form. There was no number right. code like there is for the rest of the world. Like, how did that happen? How, how does Canada, how is Canada the only other country that's like mimicking the 10 digit US code without a country code? It's bizarre. Because our country code is the same as yours. That's bizarre. And that, and yet, AT&T, you know that? no. I, oh, yeah, no. Yeah, I've never, country. I've never purposely called anyone in Canada. This was a return this call. I didn't know it was Canada. And I get charged that much money because AT&T, oh, yeah. oh, you don't have an international calling plan. Oh, I didn't know I could make an international call without knowing I was making an international call. Apparently you can. Yes. Yeah. You got to be is, very careful with that. Yeah. But blaming me, really, I mean, you can blame me all you blame want. Blame somebody. I'm so pissed nothing today. I can do, I, nothing I can do about it. <laughs> I don't know why. You're that's just a, why the I first Canadian. The first Canadian I saw. I know, time, so. but that's okay. Well, you know what? That's the same reason why I be, I'm careful about making calls to the States. Um, in fact, I'm very careful about calling to... Uh, any international number so or any number that i'm unsure of wait you guys actually so. still use the phone to call i didn't know it still did that use the oh, oh yeah hi jeff yeah hey jeff that amazing hey, hey paula hello I speak of. what's in your background paula it's a meme where are you at paula are you are you embedded sort of your forehead up in some television set? Is that what that is? Yeah. So you see mine? Oh. Rob's got a category tonight, you guys. Yeah. You know what that means. This one's all about Paula. Uh -oh. She's in the TV. Because <laughs> she's in the TV. So Sterling is there, eh? Yeah, Sterling. Really impressive background, Susan. There's Sterling. Hi, Sterling. Oh, hello, Sterling. Thank Long you. time no see. Sure. How are you? I'm here somewhere. I don't. Here you are. I see you. Wait, here. is it okay? Yeah. Is my camera off to the side? Just no, you actually center. look pretty centered. centered. Okay, on my own, I don't look centered. Weird. You're on my own, I see my my right ear. <laughs> oh, so yeah, a little bit, but likely you more. That you there's plenty of people who join. Like, I mean, I can see Carl's left ear and yeah, you're more straight on than I am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you yeah, my, would say my that own little Sterling... thing up here on the top, I just see part of my face. I don't I don't even see my face. I don't know why that is. Oh weird. Paraphrase Norman Shears, technology. You know, it, it's just can't live with it, pass the beer nuts. <laughs> Terry, is that a cat ear or is that something really strange happening on your computer screen there? That's a cat. That's a cat ear. She's oh, oh, oh. oh, he's right there. He, oh, oh. No, <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. So it's funny that cats can't see clearly anything closer than ten inches from their face. That, well, yeah, that's why there's. Sure no I've had cats. I didn't know that. About what? Hey, you know about what? water. You know how they they pat they you know. They're, they're well, I've never noticed that with water, but I've noticed it like we'll shake the food tray, they'll come and then they'll look at it like, like, is there food here? It's right in front of you. Well, they're too close <laughs> to it. Moving. Know it. Yeah, it's like the T-Rex vision, supposedly. Huh? Yeah, Jeff, so uh, Jeff just saw Sterling in May. We had we had uh, lunch together. <laughs> wow. Oh, did you see him? Isn't that funny? People eating together. Well, we I just know. came from dinner. Caspian, Paula, Sterling, Mark and I. So we've been trying, Cass got a category tonight. So everything he said, we kept trying to guess what his category was going to be. I hope it's not all about brothers because, you know, you might have, hmm. Sterling might have a little bit of an advantage. There. That's an idea. No, no, not in, if it's about Sterling, yeah, but not. Yeah, <laughs> yes. So we'll see. My brother. It's like, whoa. We'll see else is there. Oh, Sterling, you're upside down. <laughs> that makes me dizzy. Ah! I'm just trying to figure out why this, thing is being weird from on my end i want to figure out how to do that too so i can express excitement later <laughs> that's pretty good 
There we go. Yeah. Richard Saunders turns it upside down once in a while on us because he's in Australia. That doesn't make any sense. What uh, what device are you using, Sterling? Uh, it's just a Dell laptop. Oh, that's so freaky. The laptop yeah, it's, just, is... it's just the integrated webcam. Oh, so you're turning the camera, not using Zoom. What? He's not making oh, no, Zoom do it. No, no it's, it's my webcam itself, I think. It's built in. You can't move the camera, right? Oh, there we go. I think the light was, it was uh, trying, it wasn't adjusting for low light and now it works. Okay. I remember when Dell computers was on commercial constantly. Oh, it was like, and of course it was on the Canadian channel. So it was constant. Oh, dude, you're getting a Dell. And it's like, oh. That was, if I, I watched that, that channel, AT and T would have charged me seventy dollars. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I think it was back in the nineties or something like that. The Dell was a thing. Yeah. There's a great TikTok channel which runs commercials from old tech. Like they have stuff from 50s, 60s, 70s. It's really funny watching it now. Oh yeah. I I haven't bought a uh like big manufacturer made PC in many, many years. I want to say it's close to 20. Do oh. you just put them together? Uh, yeah, or I'm building them through a place that does custom builds, uh -huh. like where I can choose the motherboard and things like that, so. Oh, we have a place like that here in Calgary, but they're very expensive. It's like a thousand dollars, then it's like, oh, here. Here's your PC. It's like, thanks. I've actually found that my builds are not like that. Uh, when I've gone to go make a build, they haven't been terribly more expensive than trying to do it myself, essentially. Um, just yeah. because they can get the parts in bulk for cheaper. Although I really want to build a new one and uh, I can't right now because the video card prices are absurd. They're just, like they're just unreal. <clears throat> Still, you heard about the truck heist, right? No, there was a full blown caper. These uh, this criminal group hijacked a shipment of Nvidia, a uh, whole truckload of them. Oh my god! Yeah. Wow. I mean, considering that a lot of those video cards can, you know, be upwards of like a thousand or twelve hundred dollars just on yeah. That. Like, it was like a seven hundred thousand dollar haul, something like that. They were estimating. Yep. Wow. Where are these people? Somewhere doing cryptocurrency mining. Yeah, I probably. I don't know, or or selling them on eBay to Yeah, other one of the two. People. Yeah. That'll uh, get you trace though, maybe. Maybe I don't know. Hard to tell. Is there a dark alley I can buy a GPU with the serial number scratched off? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> there are a really there terrible are a lot of dark alleys on the internet. <laughs> there he is. Hi, Romero. Hi, Ben. Oh, we may be getting. Um, uh, a person from uh, the from our SGU social stuff. Or who's that? Might be coming. Um, I'm pretty sure his name is Dan, um, <laughs> and I say pretty sure mostly because, of course, I know him by his login and not by oh. his name name. So we get new people all the time. So we've got Vincent and Terry are both on their third try, I think. Yeah. I Back probably would do very good on the questions, though. So. Terry, I thought you no, this is your third time. Susan, mm -hmm. I remember no, when I was new. I'm still not very good at the questions. Second time. Uh, oh. What, well, Bob? I said I remember when I was new. <laughs> ah, you're old now. We all know your chickens and everything. Mm-hmm. So, so 
people introduce yourself to Sterling because he hasn't met you guys. Well, the people he doesn't know. Start with start with Carl. Hi, Carl. I know Sterling. No, oh, Carl. Very good. That was that was easy. I see. I, I see. Uh, <laughs> Post of all, his cats are okay. constantly are hiding. His cats are. Open. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll go second. Hello, Sterling. Pleased to meet you. Hey, Rob. <laughs> he knows Rob. <laughs> Jeff. Hi, Sterling. <laughs> Does anyone yeah. here not know Sterling? Yeah, Vince oh, that's my category, Terry, Rob. Rob. Vince. I'm Terry. I don't know Sterling. <laughs> I, don't I know swear Sterling. this is your third time, Ter Terry. No, nope. no. Nope. I, I came bet. last week. That was nope, it. No, but before that, too. No. Nope. <laughs> I wish I had. It's so much fun. I'm in Can <laughs> Remember, I'm in Kansas City. You talked yes, to me but, about yeah. Kansas City last week. I swear. I swear this is your thing. Okay, time. maybe it was my double or something. No, I know. Crafting Mandela, Mandela effect. Ben, <laughs> Does anyone ben, else remember her being here three times? Ben came to play because Carl universe. talked him into it. Hello, Sterling. Yeah, I'm, I've, Hi, I've known Sterling. Carl for years and he, he sucked me into trivia. <laughs> and sometimes your kids fun. play. What? And sometimes your yeah. kids play. Yes. Yep. When you're around bob is in uh where are you in some chicken place <laughs> Pope, Pope, illinois illinois that's right and he and sterling when he moves there's chickens sitting in his chair he's sitting yeah. on them right now i did see one of them really? <laughs> yeah this is a very chicken heavy i, heavy I keep <laughs> these two in the basement for the winter because it's well, too cold ever so romero is in north carolina oh, wow. Yeah, Raleigh, North Carolina. Help. And he's he's one of my GSOW oh, editors when he finally finishes his training. <laughs> well, I'm still writing the final article. And, and Paula, I mean, his wife, Faith, sits in the chair next to him. What's your article, Romero? Uh, it's about this Mexican lady that, well, I originally wanted to do something like, like Leonard, where, you know, you look for some inspiring scientist that's not very well covered in and then you cover it. And so I went down the list of uh, Mexican female chemists. And then this, this lady came up that has like some questionable stuff. <laughs> so right now in the Wikipedia page, it just says that she's a chemist. She does science communication. She's awesome. But uh, it doesn't list any of the other stuff. She uh, is selling this like cream. And she claims that it cures, um, she says, diabetic feet, and also uh, it can cure COVID oh. and cancer and yeah. the mm. other things. That's just Vicks VapoRub, isn't it? <laughs> she's in Mexico? Yeah, she's a Mexican chemist. That was a callback to category question. So I was a little disappointed because I was looking forward to something positive. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, because I wanted to do it on a like a real scientist, like a real oh, oh yeah, but this is equally important. So yeah. Um, is there is there a good photo of her that you can use from anywhere that's uh yeah she likes to well yeah she i think there's already a photo on wikipedia good 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 but she likes to go on all these uh television shows and share his sto her story and it's it's a little sad because like when she goes on tv like she like really goes into how science is awesome and how we should have more women in science, you know, and and all of that, and and but then she has like this back background thing that is not great. How is does she uh, speak in Spanish or how's her English? She speaks in Spanish. Yeah. She she, in, how how is her English? I'm just wondering if Jeopardy might you know pick her up as one of their because uh, <laughs> you know, they seem to like people like that. Which pisses me off. Oh, so I was introducing people. So Vincent. This is your third time. My third time? Yeah. I and you're from Calgary. Time. I'm from Calgary, I, where Adrian is from, too. 
we we drug him here. Everybody seems to have gotten here by being pulled in and drug here. I swear. No, I Adrian said that um, she was joining here and and invited other people and and I said yeah, yeah sure I'd like to go and yeah, there were a couple of other people. That's how I got Jeff and Romero to come. I drugged them. Well, Terry, you're absolutely right. Drugs, then they Last week was the first time. Yes, I think she would know. You, you I stand corrected. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> and Avi got here because Sharon, Ronnie, still, you remember Sharon? She used to do all yeah. the Psycon events and stuff. Yep. She Top was. She was talking to Avi on uh, this SGU server thing they have. And then she talked him into it. And so Avi started showing up. So I've never met Avi in real life. And now Avi's got his dad showing up. <laughs> Avi's in Canada right now and his dad's in Chicago. Yep. Avi's, oh, what, Avi does math of, or something. Yep, math. What part of Canada are you in? Avi? I'm, I'm in um, London, Ontario. So it's the real London. London. Ontario. <laughs> The real he does, yeah. he does the Colex conjecture, the ho no, no, no. hellstorm sequence, <laughs> but he doesn't do um, 3x plus one, he does 3x yeah. plus two. Mm. Yeah. I don't think that works. No. Yeah. And Janine, yeah, of the course, COVID, and the COVID there Janine. is Hi. pretty bad. Hi, Sterling. Um, nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Sterling. And then you've met Kyle <laughs> many times. Yep. And I think that's everybody that's here right now. Where's everybody at? I've gotten a few messages saying they'll be late, but oh, we still got a few minutes. We're almost there. Is uh, Adrian joining or? She, she was having computer issues. She bought a new computer and she oh, says she's been on the okay. phone with uh, uh, Microsoft all day and they're being really, really upset. She's not, she's not happy with it at all. So <laughs> have we told her that she's not allowed to change her computer out on the night the trivia uh -huh, is on I mean, come He's on. Doing Fridays. All right. I'm. Uh, I'm until Friday. I'm, if you're able to contact Adrian, mm -hmm. tell her just to email me, and I can help her with uh, Microsoft. I think she's uh, looking for somebody computer. to come over to her house and just fix it for her. Did, did she like trade in the old can, computer? Like, can't you just plug the old one in and if use that? If she, thing? if she's, if she wants me to do that, I can do that. I can I know where she lives, or well, Ooh, she lives in Calgary, I, oh, but <laughs> she lives fairly close to me. So, John, John, okay. John. I, will, I Rob, just Rob, it's like the Indiana Jones idol swap. You have to like, can I ask a question? I, 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 apparently, Terry, Terry wants to ask a question. Look this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I would rather. I'm on my phone because it's the only way I can get in. On my computer, um, I need a password to oh. get. Uh, could I have that? Yeah, we can give you a password. I don't know if it's yeah. the right one, but we can give you one. Oh, uh, well, it would help It'll, if it was the right one. Okay, so the passcode is one million dollars. Two, four, six, eight, seven, zero. Okay, I'm going to try it. Thanks. And you can also um, friend me on Facebook and send no, me no. private messages, which is what everybody does all the time. Mm -hmm. I, okay. I friend, I tried to friend you on Facebook, but you're not allowing me to be your friend. No. Yeah. When? Yeah. Right are, you again. Still, are you still are you there? Are going to post a YouTube video of the password? <laughs> Let me see. Oh, uh, let's see. So you're one of my friend requests. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see. How do I find those little things? We're gonna have all the bots. I now, get a Mark. bunch. You might have looked like a. You might look like a scammer. You, you probably want to edit out that. Pattern no, it's. I'm. I oh, use my and, face and. Yeah. No. Okay. Wait. We're let gonna me have find random you. strangers joining. Yep. Rando Calrissian. Yeah, what? nice. I uh, actually stole that from. What was it from? Uh, okay, we're friends. The uh, the Sad Night and Happiness made a game. Is and, it a picture of somebody sleeping? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I got it. We're friends now. Okay. Oh, okay. You should That's smile in your profile picture so you look like you're not a troll. <laughs> oh, Is well. It like <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not. You look very serious in that picture. 
I I am very serious. I yeah, oh, no, 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 I don't think so. There's Terry. Now we can see her. There right. we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Susan Garbett accepted your friend request. Yes, because when you do that, then I'll be able to, yeah, get the trivia and I won't have to enter the password all the time. So that'll be nice. You'll be able to tag pictures of yourself too. Oh, well. Are we supposed to do that? I don't think I'll do that. Some people are always tagging somebody. I don't think anybody except Adrian really knows me, so. Ooh. Maybe there'll be a category in. and you better watch oh, it's a, So it's a friend yeah. opportunity for us. Yeah. Well, we're getting ready to get uh, close to. Uh, well, we got a lot going on. I have a couple small announcements tonight, I think. I have a so question you... for Bob about chickens. Yeah. I have a chicken problem. When do we? When do we have? When's the chicken discussion time set aside? I don't want to be rude. I think I Susan, you're you're Susan, Susan, sorry, better go now. Susan can make a breakout room. Yeah, go now. I probably the won't chicken, go anyway. The chicken. Bob, I have a chicken that's eating the eggs. Um, yeah, that's annoying. Cannibal. What do I do? I eat cannibals. I know what uh, somebody's team name is going to be tonight. Throw it in a volcano. No. Um, I had one. Kind of thin. And it I tastes like chicken. The shells are too thin. <laughs> it tastes like chicken. Oh, my baby it tastes like chicken. Ball? What about a golf ball in there? The trick yeah. it. The they thing you, yeah. So yeah. It, it like pecks the golf ball and goes, oh my God, that hurt. Yeah. And it stops doing it. Just. Maybe maybe so, one of those buzzer things, like when you shake hands and the buzzer goes off, or one that would squirt it in the when face. You, when you let them when you let them out in the morning, do you have a run you can you can confine him confine her in? No. Oh, so you probably confine her till all the eggs are laid and collected, and then let them out. Well, I'm not getting them. many eggs right now. She might be the only one laying the eggs. I'm getting um, like one egg a day right now because it's winter. So. Yeah. And I get out there pretty early and try to pick the eggs up. But if she's laying the egg and then immediately pecking a hole in it. Who is it? I think it's one of the littles. Oh, well, that would make sense if because it's the first time they've been doing this. It wasn't. No, a no, no, no. The legs are this year's babies. This, this is the littles are last year's babies. So she's a year old. But huh. anyway, if you have a solution, let me know. Because I don't know what to do about this. Have her for dinner. If if I was sure it was her, she might be dinner. All right. Step one, get an egg, inject it with red dye, and look for the chicken with a red beak. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. And if it won't stop, yeah, yeah, poison that it. actually. Ah. Okay, <laughs> so we're up. It's what kind of red minute. dye would I use? Okay, so somebody can explain to Sterling really quick about uh, what's about to happen. Oh my God, you have never your, told him? Your and mother's you going to mispronounce well, a lot of words that we're all going to laugh. He does that all the time, anyways. So I know, me. so it's nothing new. So. I've had 30 years of her mispronouncing everything. Yeah. So you're in on it. I'm getting it in stereo good. because I can hear her in the other room. I just turned <laughs> close my door. I can still hear you. I'll talk quieter. You can always say <laughs> I can, shut I can the run door. Um, so there are going to be four rounds and a bonus round. So first we're going to split into teams, which uh, Susan will have split us all into breakout rooms. So um when uh when prompted you will click to join your breakout room and then the first thing that you'll do is decide a team name and then we'll all come back and then someone will give their uh give their questions for for uh for their round um there will be 10 questions worth one point a piece um and uh and then we will go back to our breakout rooms in order to discuss answers and like back and forth um, through the five rounds and uh, through the four rounds plus bonus round and whoever has the most points wins.
So Sterling, do you need, you don't have any paper over there, right? No. Okay, I better give you some paper. I've never but, used uh, pen and paper, so. Paula yeah. just asked me for some too. So I have, I have a computer with a notepad function, so. Well, do you want, a, do you want paper and pen? No, I, I can use my computer. Okay. You made me stand up. Now I have to put my blanket back on me again. It's all about <laughs> copy paste. I had to close the door, so I can't even have cats in here now. Cats well, can have around. Huh? You should have grabbed one beforehand. Okay, so it's time. I'm putting you in your rooms, and then the others will join. So don't be surprised if you're. What do we? What's the order, Susan? It is um. Rob, Bob. Caspian, Ben, and Kyle. Okay. We okay. should get two more people whose name is Robert, and then so that we can have an entirely Rob thing. Yeah. Entirely <laughs> Rob. I'm sure you can arrange that. Oh my God. My niece is visiting this weekend, and her boyfriend is Rob. Not Robert or Bob. It's Rob. The same thing. Oh, this is going to be so annoying. Tony's over it's here. It's going to be so annoying. <laughs> That's like our family. Everyone's named John. Oh God. My cousin, uh, uh, my, uh, two of my cousins, their brothers, and both of them married different people named Amy. Oh, my sister, I have a sister named Mary, and my sister in law is Mary. So we, my we brother had, we is had, named like, Tony, my dad was Tony, and I had a half sister named Tony. Are you sure you're not Italian? We're <laughs> we, we have Very three Italian Carl last and one Carl in my family. Um, um, And Caspian's got three. So Caspian's not here yet. He We had lunch, dinner with him, so he's probably still. My dad said he's going to be coming any second, any minute now. Okay. Are you, are you a short timer as usual, Abby? Yeah. Ben. I don't know if I'm going to make it past one round. You, you look half asleep right now, Abby. Yeah. 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 You, you, you know, there's things you could do to wake up. Like you could have people come up behind you and go like that. <laughs> yeah, but then I won't be able to fall asleep afterwards. <laughs> well, that's the point. You need an upper and a downer. Sleep yeah. is overrated. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Did you see two, college? Two I drank, hours ahead. I drank coffee till I was finished studying and then I took an antihistamine. <laughs> that's how I got through college. Okay, so I think I've got right, this. Kyle, an upper and a downer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here comes kidding. Jane, and here comes Alan. I don't want to recreate the rooms, so I'm just going to add them in here in a minute. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. Is, Sterling, have you used breakout rooms at all on Zoom before? This is the first time I've used Zoom in uh, years. Yeah, oh, okay, my so God. Just I know. So just follow the, follow the, uh, um, you're going to get a, a message on your screen and just follow it. And then your team will help you from there. And there is going to be very few people in the rooms right now, but we're going to fill them up here in a few minutes. So go to your rooms, play nice. And I will see you in a couple of minutes. Let me add Alan and Jane. Avi is going to join. If he hasn't joined yet, he's going to join shortly, I think. Oh, he's already here. Oh, well, there you go. He just said, I don't know if I'm going to make it a whole round. Oh, he, he yeah, he'll, he, he, he milks it when he's tired. Yeah. Oh, okay. we just told him, Janine said, go up behind you and go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me just add you to, I'm just sending him to the rooms right now. So let me see. I'm going to put Jane. Let's put Jane over here. And then Alan, let's put you. Oh, oh, here comes Deborah. And then let's put Alan. Who would make sense? Let's trade out. Let's put you over here. And there's Peggy. Let's put Peggy here. Five. Let's put Deborah in. Hi, Peggy. Hi, am I going to a room already? Yep, I'm just putting people in rooms right now. Wow, you're starting really good. Yeah, we're on it today. It happens once in a while, you know, don't. 
And then Deborah is going to go to. And four. I guess I should put this on pause. I just got a brand new phone and it didn't come with a charger. That should, I feel like that should be illegal. Yeah. Be One good. could argue it's environmentally like. Yeah, friendly. I was going to say there's that, an that's argument. What Apple for. says, but like their newer phones use a higher rate of charging. So you right. would be forced to buy a new charger anyway because your old chargers don't have enough amperage to charge the new device. And really, if you're, so if you're worried about that environmental, environmental angle, then say, okay, here is, you have, give people like the option to, if you want a new charger, here it'll come with it but sure. if you don't want it now you can then use it as a future date or something when you need it or like forks and napkins on takeout make it yeah. optional mm -hmm. uh you know what else is optional is tailgates on trucks they're only sold with like these little nets across the back and oh, then is if that you right? want a tailgate you have to buy one. Oh, really, really? Hmm. they're not standard sterling are you there i don't see you He was in our group. I wonder if he left the whole thing. No, he's you know here. Oh, he, he might have done. Yeah. You might know, when you leave button. the room, sometimes you leave the meeting instead. Well, it says he's in room five with oh, Kyle, Peggy, Sterling, and Terry. Maybe he doesn't know how to get out. He's trapped no, in the breakout room. No, he's not in the room. room. We ditched Not him. forever. That would be a good team name, trapped in the breakout room. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he? Nice. Well, he's never used Zoom before, so. Oh, he! I bet he left the meeting instead of the room. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so he's gonna have to sign back in. Or for those uh, weird owl fans, you can be stuck in a closet with Vanna White. I was wondering <laughs> if you were gonna mention that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I was I was talking to some of my friends about possibly going to a um a an escape room, and I and I called it a breakout room. <laughs> you are trying to break out of the room so yep. that's good it fits. that's what you're trying to do is break out yeah when you know you've been spending too much time in zoom meetings yeah susan did you want me to knock on sterling's door yeah, go 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 help him <laughs> what wait is paula at your house too yeah what yeah how many is everyone there but me yes <laughs> Yeah, I'm there We're too. We're all in different rooms, Rob. It's, it's actually a really massive house. <laughs> What's really freaky about Rob is you're there and you just don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> it what they did was while you were sleeping, yep. they abducted you and put they you in built exact a room around you that looked like your place. It's very well done. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like the simulations. Uh, yeah, definitely. He said Zoom crashed and he's relaunching it right now. Oh. Sure, that's what happens. Zoom's fired. That's what everyone. So did uh, uh, Adrian respond to you, Susan? Yeah, she said. Where'd she say? She's going free BSD. She said. <laughs> she, I said. I said. Vincent says he'll come over and he'll fix your computer for you. And she says, "Ha ha ha! Microsoft wasn't able to. I'll have to contact a different division tomorrow. They think it's an operating system issue." I, no, you, I'm yes. serious. I really can go over there and help her. Like, go knock at her door right I'm now. Not, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not kidding. She's okay, been on the phone all about, day. I know about Microsoft. I know what she's going through. So, does like anyone I'm actually quite serious? Free BSD but, actually still exists. Oh sure, probably yeah. It still exists. The question I mean, is, what you want is like, is it maintained? Yeah, is it maintained. I don't probably, but it might be maintained by like one person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like one next year. Yeah, they're taking December off. <laughs> oh, Terry's we, back. Did Terry leave? To... <clears throat> She was here a second ago. She was on the phone all this time with Microsoft, and as far as they could diagnose it, was it an <laughs> operating system issue? 
That's what you're saying. Like, Thanks for narrowing that down. Any more no other software called on it yet. She said she was on for yeah. five hours. Windows 11. Uh, well, the okay, here she says, the uh, Adrian says, they start really? From? She says, Troy couldn't and Microsoft couldn't. I'm guessing a reinstall is in order, but I'll let him know tomorrow oh. if, he, if it isn't resolved. And she says, she says, that's awesome if you'll come over, Vincent. Yeah. Well, well, no, can. You can contact her and out. ask and tell her too. Well, I by email, I guess I could. Yeah. Why don't you just, aren't you friends with her on Facebook? Uh, yeah. Well, then talk to her on Messenger. That's all we all, that's what people do. Nobody uses email anymore. That's only for formal, <laughs> formal things. If a, re a reporter is trying to get a hold of you. I, I barely use text messaging anymore. I think I message people more on Facebook Messenger than anything else. Yeah, me too. That's all I use now. I'll, I only use uh, uh, text messages like when I think they might not be getting the other thing. So yeah, of course, everybody does that. Some people might think it's too informal, but then again, we're in a kind of an informal time. Mm -hmm. I people, I prefer it. Okay, here comes Terry again. She, she keeps leaving. Terry, don't leave us. Terry? She's oh. there. Yeah, she's, she's rejoined twice now, in the last few minutes. Hello, Jane. What's going on over there? Me? You're Jane. Yeah. yeah what's going on? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm very busy getting ready for our Christmas performances. So this Ooh. is my free night. What are you going to do? Oh, I sing with E. Cantori, D. Carmel, and we're putting on a concert um, the 11th and 12th. Aww. Of and then our ensemble sings at Spanish Bay every night up through the 23rd of December. So wow. we're pretty busy. Oh, the Christmas season is busy, very busy for you. Yes, yes. Well, that's terrific. I didn't know you were a singer. So we need to have more categories about music for her. <laughs> music oriented stuff. We could we could let her sing the happy birthday instead of no it's more fun when we do it and everybody does it off key uh, and and not together yeah that's much better yes caspian are you eating again i'm typing there's nothing I in saw my you mouth eating. i don't know what you're talking about alone. i saw i you don't know what eating not food like. shaming susan hi faith there is Let nothing in my mouth there hasn't been for like an hour. I just saw you eating. I don't have any food. I have a mocha. Well, then you're drinking something. Okay, so uh, still having oh trouble no. getting in? Let's see. <laughs> I'm kind of here. You're kind of? Remember my uh, laptop's right here if you want to use it. You just have to sign okay, in. So, no, the client crashed. And okay. You're in twice now. Hi, Sterling. Yeah, awesome. uh, <laughs> hey, Deborah. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay, I'm in here twice now. One second, let me get rid of one of these. One of them's very scary. Oh, there's two of them. <laughs> that was a, a he wore a Psycon one year. Richard Who's Dawkins. Coming? I have the best picture of Sterling in that in that costume with Richard Dawkins. Let me find it while I've got it here. Um, who's the screaming lady behind you, Susan? That's not a lady. What is it? Who is it? It's Caspian. Oh, uh, it is not right there. That lady, <laughs> yeah, it's Caspian. Yeah, it's it is. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I stand corrected. <laughs> We're having a lot of that today. Caspian yeah. doing his impression of a not a gargoyle. His pronouns. Oh. Yeah. oh. Okay. I don't know if you can kick the uh, fake me or what. If that's okay. You guys, can you see that? Richard yeah. Bakken. What's he doing? <laughs> He's checking out his. What is this? What is this thing called? A proboscis. Uh -huh. He's oh, checking out proboscis. his proboscis. 
Nice. Because <laughs> isn't he an entomologist or um no. biologist. an evolutionary biologist. biologist? Okay, so I'm removing that other one. Yeah, I think that's the browser version, but it even though it's yeah. close to my end, it's still yeah. Okay. He was trying to uh, understand and explain how a fly could grow to that size without a transporter accident. <laughs> I have I have that picture up on my wall. It makes me laugh every time I look at it. <clears throat> okay, so everybody take a look at your look around and see if other people on your team are here because I'm trying to see if uh, Terry kept jumping in and out. I don't know if you're have are you do you think you're here it now, was, Terry? Yeah, I do because I'm on I'm on my phone. My internet is sketchy, so I had to come sketchy. back on my phone. over yep. there in Kansas. Yep, sketchy. <laughs> sketchy sketchy internet okay so everybody take a look and see if you see your teammates are here just it's like like when we were in elementary school and you had to make sure if your partner was there who else okay i'm here okay so here we go let's do team names and then we're going to get right into it so we are um we are ready to go so faith romero carl and rob who are you playing tonight We Remember are put in the chat. We are Omicron from Unicron is responsible for QAnon. <laughs> Have fun. Have fun. <laughs> Omicron from Unicron is responsible for QAnon. Okay, that's very good. You should have done it like Cajun man. Omicron. <laughs> the crawl from Unicron is responsible for QAnon. There you, go. There you, go. you have oh, to say it that way. Oh, my throat will hurt. <laughs> All right, so um, Avi, Bob, Jeff, Mike. Uh, we are uh, Washington's walloping, washing, warning, waning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were warning Sterling about this that somebody's going to pick something from Wash with the title Washington. That's just always the way it is. They're just oh. they have this thing for Washington. Yep, we love it. Washington's what walloping, again? washing, warning. It's a very warning? patriotic group. Weenie. <laughs> well, Sterling lives in Washington. Right, Sterling? State do I live in again? Huh? What state was that? Washington. Yes. <laughs> when growing up, his, his you know, you're driving around the kids and their friends in the car, and they would just be like, Mrs. Gerpig, what's the name of the state above Oregon? <laughs> 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 he used to do that to me all the time. And Sterling went out of his way to move there just to make it even more common that you have to say. That's amazing. Good going, yeah, that, Sterling. That, that's specifically why I moved there. <laughs> <laughs> now it makes sense. Okay, Alan, Janine, Vincent, Caspian. The earth is not flat, but it should be. <laughs> that's, true. that's true, especially because mm. we'd be all in the same time zone. Mm. About mm. the same time. <laughs> I was thinking more of pushing certain people off. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. There's the ice wall. Got to get yeah, past the ice wall. Yeah. So Ben, Deborah, Paul, Jane, and Paula. The foggy bottoms from Washington D.C. I knew I was going to get foggy <laughs> bottoms. She's talking about that today. I picked her up from the airport, and she was all about the team name tonight. <laughs> like what? You know. I remember we could talk about other things, but okay, never mind. Room five, <laughs> Kyle, Peggy, Sterling, and Terry. We are not a cult. We are not a cult. Okay, there you go. <laughs> we are not. Sure. I noticed there's no exclamation point at the end of that. You know how someone's a cult is when they say they're not in a cult. Exactly. That's right. That makes yeah, but we're not in one. <laughs> no, we're not. Trivia is not a cult. Sounds like an unbeliever. Well, I bought a I bought an iPad, so I'm in the the Apple cult. Oh, I'm in there too, but it's my phone is an Apple. All right, so we're ready. Here we go. Now we will have other people who are going to join us in a little bit. So let me start off the game like I always do. December second, twenty twenty one. Um, what is it? Dos de diciembre. Dos de diciembre. 2021. This is game number 83, season two. Season two, episode 26, right, Carl? Yeah. And tonight, 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 just for your entertainment, 
we have five groups that will be going head to head with each other, all five groups who think that they will reign supreme with their amazing teams of intellect and in, in, in such a, and, and just brainiacs. And we have tonight Omicron from Unicrom is responsible for QAnon <laughs> versus Washington's walloping, marshing, warning, want, waning versus the earth is not flat, but it should be versus the foggy bottoms from Washington, D.C., versus we are not a cult. So at the moment, you all have the same score, which is a big fat zero. Remember, tonight, I will be playing on the teams as, as the person who's reading out the, the categories tonight, which are Rob, Bob, Caspian, Ben, and Kyle. So hopefully, we will not. I will not tank your team with my intellectual misgivings. <clears throat> so as usual we'll have a break at round two and any other questions anything mm -hmm. else i need to make sure sterling knows just don't put out any of your um don't say anything about the answers until we're into the breakout rooms and yeah. if you're writing in chat remember sterling's never really used zoom before if you're using chat to write make sure if you wanted to go to one specific person make sure it's it's put the the name on the um, chat and not to everybody because that could be yep, quite embarrassing. I see. And you will be using chat a lot because all the answers, all the questions people ask will go into the chat as well. So that should be and, great. And uh, thank Kyle's thank in charge you. of the um, of the, the muting, shutting you all up the tonight. Mutation. So we're going to start off with Rob, Mr. The Palmer, who's going to talk to us about television sets, obviously. Do I have the administration of power yet? Yes, you do. I do. He has okay. the power. I have the power. So this category is, what TV series are we from? More specifically, name the TV series containing the six listed characters. Every decade after the 40s, not including the 40s, is represented. Okay, Kyle. All right, muting all. Okay, here we go. We didn't even count down. So just for you guys to know if uh, you're muted, of course you're unmuted just by pushing the, the space bar on your computer. If you have something really a great question or you're just, it's really funny, whatever you wanna say. Um, if, you, if you do ask a question, remember that you may be giving a clue to the other team. So really be careful about asking questions. All right, Rob, it's yours. Okay, and uh, are there any questions? Silence is golden, meaning no. Okay. Question number one. Festus Hagen, Wilbur Jonas, Doc Adams, Quint Asper, Kitty Russell, and Thad Greenwood. And so uh, Sterling knows after I say them, they're going to be in the chat, which that one now is. Question number two. Amanda Barrington, D.L. Brock, Alan Quartermain, Tom Baldwin, Howie Dawson, and Laura Spencer. A question. Um, when you say after the 40s, do you mean starting at the 50s or including the 40s? I did not include the 40s. Number three. Janice Rand, Gary Mitchell, Amanda Grayson, Edith Keeler, Charlie Evans, Dr. Richard Daystrom. Question number four. Jill Monroe, Chris Monroe, Sabrina Duncan, Kelly Garrett, Chris Monroe, and Julie Rogers. I said Chris Monroe. So there you get four, five. Sorry. <laughs> Question number five. Wayne Arnold, Kevin Arnold, Karen Arnold, Paul Pfeiffer, Gwendolyn Cooper, and Becky Slater. Question number six. Rachel Green, Ross Geller, Phoebe Buffay, Joey Tribbiani, Chandler Bing, and Gunther. Question seven. Rupert Giles, Joyce Summers, William Pratt, Riley Finn, Tara McClay, and Kendra Young. Question 
question number eight. Zoe Washburn, Inara Sarah, Kaywinette Fry, Daryl Book, Simon Tam, Jane Cobb. Question nine. Winston Bishop, Winston Schmidt, Jessica Day, Nick Miller, Cecilia Paraka, if I said that right, Ernie Coach Tagliabu. And finally, Bernard Lowe, Peter Abernathy, Hector Escaton, Maeve Millay, Clementine Pennyfeather, and Charlotte Hale. That's all of them. Any questions? Are they all, are, are these not universal to America? I mean, could they be British? Or Lithuanian or something? <laughs> these are all popular shows in the US. Okay, they're all, they showed on a US TV. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yeah, these aren't, these aren't um, shows that were on a season either. Uh, all, most of them, well, they're, they're all very popular in their own right, put it that way. Most of them ran these for are, these most of them ran for many main characters of those shows. These most of them great. most of them ran for many seasons. I'll say that too. And what was the question? Are these these are um, not necessarily the main don't, characters? Don't get these, ran, these could be random. <laughs> I don't think I want to answer that. That question. For what? Yeah, I don't think don't I want to answer, answer the that. Question. Okay. Okay. I mean, if you if you know the show and everything about it, you'll know the characters. That's all I'll say. All right. You gonna send this to our rooms? I will do that. Okay, so those people that kind of came and gone, I'm gonna have to put you in your rooms again. So hold on, I'll I'll, I'll get to it as soon as he sends this to our rooms. Okay, good luck, everybody. Okay, see you in a few minutes. So Sterling goes to room five. We're not a cult. Terry, you are in. Oh, you're also in five. And I'm coming up to room one. Everybody else okay? All right. I'm no help. <laughs> yes, you will. Like you've you've seen a couple of these shows. Well, Festus is that guy from Oh eight is uh, Firefly. Okay. Yeah, it is. So Festus wasn't um, number uh, one's Gunsmoke. That's okay. what it was, Gunsmoke. Was the second one Quartum Quartermain? Isn't that the Quater Mars, Quater Mass series? No, is no. Is it Dawson's Creek? No, because I don't think so. I think that's. I think that's General Hospital, but I'm Quartermain. not. Quartermain. Sure. Yeah, that. I think you're right. There you think might it's General that, Hospital. You know I what? Quartermain. I think you're right. It's General Hospital. Oh my God, he went to General Hospital. The next one, three, is Star Trek: The Original Show. Hold on. Oh. Okay. I can almost hear Paula talking in the other room, so she's I gotta get her to shush. <laughs> and she's way in a far other room. So three is Star Trek, four is Charlie's Angels. Number five is Wonder Years. Yep. Let me Six see if I can close this other door. Six is obvious. Friends, number seven is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yep. Close your door over here, Paula, because I can sort of hear you. Number eight is Firefly. Number nine. New Girl. New Girl, okay. Ten's Westworld. Okay. Okay. Maybe these are the ones I need to bench watch. Is New Girl any good? You guys need my help? Um, for no, we've right. got them all. Oh, jeez. I didn't know <laughs> I, any I, of them. I stopped watching New, New Girl when Zoe Deschanel left. What's that about? Who? I don't know. Is, How many seasons of West? Is New Girl a sci-fi show? No. No. I have to find stuff we won't watch together. Like I can't like watch. Have you seen the new uh, have you guys started the um Beatles? Get back? No. The which Beatles. one is it? Which one is that on? The one no. where it's on uh Disney Plus. Okay. Out. It's the one where they had the recordings from 1960 something. 
Okay. Oh God, it's it's so weird. Like foundation. Hmm? No, we finished foundation. Yeah, foundation. We're we were talking about that today. What'd you think of it? Did it's you read weird. the Asimov's book? Very different. I yeah. haven't read the book. I read the first book. I've, I've, I've read, read a lot about the books, and the show is good, but very different. Yeah. Is that what you say, Romero? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I think, like, what they say about the books is that uh, he was, like, very into pricing, like, you know, very scientific base. And the, woo, the books have a little bit of woo, like, supernatural stuff that was not in the books. You mean the show? Yeah, the show, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. But, and it's yeah, also show, very, he was very misogynist. Flirting with some the books, yeah. Yeah. Mystical duality type. We were just talking about it because I was such a fan of Asimov. I was wondering if I should try the foundation series. It's, it's entirely different. Just, like yeah, it's just a different thing. You don't relate it to uh, Isaac Asimov. Yeah. And we started watching The Wheel of Time. Oh. Well, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. We okay. haven't actually been watching much of anything, but I started the Beatles thing because I'm just in the Beatles mood. And, um, well, I, I need binge watching show suggestions. Mm. Okay, I think we're done. I, I wonder if everybody is. Let me see. Well, the, the Expanse is coming back in December sometime here. Can we start that? Yeah. Is that the, hold on, was that the show where they were putting each other in the airlock and not believing it was real? No. That, no. What, the they they travel to space is like very realistic they're colonizing okay. the solar system yeah but what was the show where nobody believed that they were on a real spaceship so everybody started getting in the airlock and letting themselves out and then they were dying and then believing what? it was them. yeah uh, i think that was ascension yeah like nobody believed that the airlock that was real it. And so people would go in, like they didn't believe they were in space. They'd be like, oh, this is an illusion. This is a hologram. Oh, yeah. And they walk oh, in the airlock and release her. them out and they die. And they go, oh, they faked that. They're alive. Oh, They're no. somewhere else. Oh, no. I think you're talking about Avenue 5 on HBO. Okay. Yeah. With Hugh Laurie as the captain. Yeah. Hugh Laurie yeah. plays the captain? Yeah. It's, it's, well, it's a pretty funny show. He plays the captain, but he's only sort of the captain. Like he's, he's basically, he does, he's not really the captain. Mm -hmm. He's an actor that was hired to to be the public face of the ship, even though he doesn't know what the hell he's doing. Oh, oh, we've been watching. Okay, so um, run run down the things we get: Gunsmoke, General Hospital, Star Trek, and what else? Charlie's Angels, uh, Wonder Years. Hold on, wait, wait, I'm typing. Well, you got to learn to type fast. Mm hmm. I can type fast if I don't have to worry about spelling. Charlie's Angels, what? The Wonder Years. Friends. Friends. Was it? Uh -huh. Okay. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, not Buffet the Vampire Layer. <laughs> that's probably really amazing. that's Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yes, Kara, yeah. Tara, Riley, Liam. He's not. Luke. Rupert? If he if he said Buffy, everybody would have gotten that. I don't recognize yeah. any of these names. Wasn't there? Wasn't her? Oh, you know, you know who Rupert? Professor, right? Yes, Rupert? Professor Giles. Yeah, Giles. The librarian dude at the high school. Who was um? I don't some remember any of these probably watched through his Buffy. So so Finn Finn was a, a one time love interest. Tara was uh, Allison Hannigan's love interest. Mm -hmm. Tara was a, a lesbian, I think, right? Yeah. Yes, he just said. And she, what was she the name of Buffy's that's best when, friend? That's when, that's when uh, Willow. Austin Hannigan's Willow, character that's right. in the, in the dark. Who's Kendra? Willow? What was the name of the guy? I, Kendra. Sa like, Xander, I think, right? Xander. Z Kendra might have been. Oh, yeah, like Xander. That was the guy. Oh, I haven't watched Buffy in ages. I got to rewatch that. There you go, Faith. There's something to binge. I know. I got a whole freaking month of TV. Okay, number eight. What, what is it we have for eight? Firefly. Firefly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nine. New girl. Mm -hmm. Never heard of it. Ten. Westworld. Westworld. Never heard. Well, I've heard of it. It was a movie too. Before. From the 40s, right? Yeah. Out of the 50s. No. Giving us a three minute warning. God, we've been gone done yeah. yet. Uh, All right. Let's just go back and then maybe yep. we'll.
drive those people back. I need, I'm going to go get pickles. You have some pickles. I need pickles. <laughs> The, you know, the other word, formic is formic acid, which ants produce. Yep. Yeah. And like for that one, I remember like as soon as, because I've read Ender's Game and Ender's Shadow a long time ago, and then I saw the movie, and it's like, I, I think that at some point I just suddenly either somebody mentioned Ender's Game as a possibility and was like, yes, that was Ender's Game because of like the ants thing. Um, yeah. Or I can just like suddenly remember yeah. the same thing. The, the form. Like, yeah. So ants are part of a group known as formids, and uh, their their family name is Formicidae. Okay. I took an entomology class and had to learn all of the different families. I liked Ender's Game, and I also read Ender's Shadow. Mm -hmm. In fact, I read Ender's Shadow before I read Ender's Game. Is the French for me? I think it is. Kind of yeah, I... hard to hear, Bob. I think we're all um, getting uh, um, catching uh, Jeff's hard of hearingness. Yep. What? <laughs> exactly. So I liked um, I liked the movie Ender's Game. In fact, I watched it again recently. I liked it because I really had a hard time visualizing the big room that they used to do all the stuff in when you're reading the book it's just so it's vast yeah it's just really hard to picture it i really enjoyed all the different kinds of things they did all the maneuvers um just the isolation mm -hmm. how they were messing with the kid and the books were obviously way better but it was an interesting movie just for the visual effects it just they took out so much of it that it wasn't the the back and forth of how he was really worried about being like his brother peter yeah um, they took out all the stuff about uh the blogs that his sister and yeah. peter were doing on earth and I mean, you can't you had when you're doing a movie out of a book you got to take a lot of stuff out yeah i guess yeah. so yeah so but, uh, it, was, yeah, it, was it, was on, it was on one of like the eight tvs in my office last <laughs> week <laughs> the eight tvs in your office I work. I work. I work. I work at uh, ABC News. I, I didn't. Oh, I didn't know that. Put, I, I didn't know that you could put movies on an ATV. Ha 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 ha. Oh God! But, uh, that's, that's, that's like an early Haley, Haley Steinfeld, isn't it? Ender's so, Game. So, Mike, get us on a show. <laughs> I'm. I'm only a contractor. I'm new. I don't have really that uh, much pull. Fine. No excuse. They, if anyone <laughs> asks me, I want a show on on busting psychic asses and the rest of them too. Apparently, Rob, it was too easy. We were done way way before I I got up to put my jacket on and they were done. Oh, all right, we're gonna we're gonna start out easy tonight. Even though you tried to be tricky, I did. Hey, it's eating a pickle. Mm -hmm. Some people did not get some of the obvious ones, interestingly, but okay. I didn't know any of them. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, really? the, the obvious ones, no one else yeah, in group got. Once yeah, they said you, it, I said, oh, that makes game, sense. You know that not everybody thinks the same ones are the obvious ones. That's, right. that's true. So uh, we, that's true. We, we plead for a little extra time. Oh. Yeah. What? What do you mean, what? <laughs> Okay, send them back real quick. Only go back. You either know it or you don't know it. Just well, we got to go back. We didn't have time to figure out what we did. Susan, know. You, I don't know how to do that. Can you, you only run a Ouija board so quickly. They have to argue about it. Isn't what they know or doesn't know? Don't know. So only yeah. go back if you're going. If you're on that team. Yeah. So, so the, um, are, are they gone yet? They're gone. Yeah. yeah so Wait, I think they're gone. Are they gone? Yeah, because I don't want to tell them something that you guys okay, didn't hear. Caspian, like it... Vincent, Janine, and Ellen. Yeah, so so there was there was a, a little bit of a pattern in that they were in order chronologically. So yeah, I that, heard might, that. that that might have helped if people saw that and were you know wondering about a particular one in the middle or at the end or something. At least put a time frame on. I, yeah. There were several series I've never heard of. Or I've really, never, never heard of these. Really? Wow. Well, there's one I never heard of. What, what and the time? several I've never watched even one episode or or even like a clip of them. Wow. 
except I don't, for, I'm just not a big TV person, I guess. Except for one series there, which had you know huge fan following enough to make a movie out of it after it was canceled after one season. Uh, everything else was yeah. long running here. <clears throat> yeah. And one of them has been running since 1963. If we had figured out the in order portion, we would have changed number nine. That's great. Ah, now. okay. <laughs> how, how much time did you give them, Susan? I didn't. I'm going to close the room. Okay. Now, then we'll have a minute. So are, are any of the shows Cheers? No. 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 I only knew four. Yeah, we were wondering about that one because there was a coach Ernie on Cheers, but not the other characters that we yeah. could recall. Mm. That was Ernie Pantuzo, though. Yeah, but he was the coach. Yep. Yep, he was. Or, he was featured in my the other guys' questions. We we answered Tiger King for all of these. <laughs> <laughs> Another one I have never seen. <coughs> yeah, that's been around since the fifties. Okay, uh, Caspian, we're waiting on. Okay, here they here they all back. They'd be back. You guys get it now, or do we? You need more time. Also, Susan, Tiger King has not been around since the six since the fifties. Fifties. <laughs> it seems like it. I think all of these are asleep. I was kidding. Oh, I wasn't entirely sure. You said that in such a straight face. I'm eating a cracker. <laughs> that is funny. I am good at lying. Here, I'll just she's, lie. she's just had a lot of practice at being disingenuous, sitting in the audience when she's being read by Psychic, crying about her dead loved one. Who <laughs> <laughs> you know, the first, the first one we did, Operation Bumblebee, um, we used a, a photo that was chip coffee and Sterling was in, in the back and I disposably had this dead child and Sterling was sitting in the back of the room. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that story. <laughs> it, it was a photo of me. No, really? And I was and you, in the room. Oh. That's great. I love it. I love it. Oh. Wow. <laughs> that's a fun family. Yeah. <laughs> All that's right. a fun family. We go talk to, dad, talk to the dead. Go for around. Flags. That was my, my. Everybody's back, right? All right. Here are the answers. So I'm, I'm, I'm guessing most people got nines probably here. Um, oh, me, was it easy, Rob? Let me share my screen. For you. The first <laughs> answer is gun smoke. Mm -hmm. and I think a lot of people got that. So, yep. Yep. That's true. Oh, so for the team that didn't hear it, these were in chronological order, and that might have helped if you realized the pattern there, uh, if you miss one in the middle or something, to narrow it down. But anyway, so that's what I did. So first one is Gunsmoke from 1955. Look at those blue eyes. Second one, second one is General Hospital from 1963 <laughs> yep. to the uh, current day. Quartermain, Quartermain. Quartermain, yep. Laura Spencer. Yep. And what's the what's her what's her husband who raped her first and then that that was a whole horrible yeah. storyline? That was Luke. 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 Oh, yeah. Was that a general hospital? Yep, their wedding. Ugh. That was ridiculous. It was. It was awful. All right. Oh, uh, number three. I hope people Luke got this. Laura. Star Trek the original series. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry, team. Oh, yeah. people didn't get that. So, I, yeah, I didn't, I, I, except for Janice Rand, none of them were like crew members. The rest were major characters and major episodes. But, you know, I couldn't use Spock and Kirk and whatever because everyone would have got that even if they never saw the show. Obviously, if you would have put Yeom and Janice Rand, that might have given it away. Yes, that's exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> that's not her name. So, yeah. No. Uh, uh, so, <laughs> let's see. That's a ring. And of course, in Star Trek, the movie, she wasn't a yeoman anymore, right? Um, right. Number four is Charlie's yeah. Angels. Yay. All right. Yay. Yeah, Yay. <laughs> that was from uh, 1976 it started. Uh, the next one is from 1988. We go to the 80s. And that was The Wonder Years. Yay. Uh, Never which there's, a, there's, a, there's a reboot on right now, which is what made me think of using that one, actually. Uh, and and it actually, the, uh, the, the reboot is about an African-American family in the same time period, and it is produced or directed, executive produced, I think, by Fred Savage, who's the young kid there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. The next one is 
everyone should have got this. I've yes. never seen an episode. Oh wow. my god. Uh, Are you still I know I, I tried is, to but... avoid the best I could too. It, uh, it's terrible. It doesn't make sense. They all live in New York. They barely have jobs. <laughs> How I know. They afford an apartment? Have Giant apartment. apartment. Hey, yeah, rent control apartment. Right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. The next one. Liberals. I got a feeling with this group, a lot of people got this one, although I would not have from the names I gave you. Buffy. Buffy. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Sterling. Yeah. The kids made me watch the whole series. Wow. <laughs> I, for, first, first, uh, first name, I got Rupert. Yeah. Uh, oh, the vampire slayer, not, not Buffet the Vampire Lair. <laughs> <Too Yeah. true. laughs> Number as as Giles, and then you had the summer, whatever summers. And the, the, the okay. Summer. Yeah. So I, I didn't know it well enough. I mean, if it didn't say Buffy, I would have gotten it. Um, uh, so, like Susan was on them, I've never seen an episode of that. Yeah, I've seen them all, but that's only once. That one I have not. So, um, the next one is from 2002. We move into the 2000s, and it's the uh, only one that was not, not long running with only one season, but a huge cult following. Firefly. Yeah, I would have gotten uh, it right away if you had it, if you used the first name Warsh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, his first name or last name? That's his last name. It's not even his last name. It's a shortened version. Oh, mm -hmm. they did Walker. use it, and then yeah. he did. Use his nickname it. was Wash. They just yeah, called him Wash. Washburn. They just called him Wash. Yeah. There. Right. Or Wash. Zoe, Wash. River, isn't that woman on the left, or is that Riley? Yeah, that's River. River, River, River Tam. I didn't use her name. I used Simon, her brother. Uh, so yes, and <laughs> and, and, Kay. and Kay Winnett is Kaylee. So yeah, that's yeah. her actual name. Nine. I think the most people had the most problem with this, and we just started binge watching it. This is from started in 2011. I think it went for like six years or so. It is New Girl. I never. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's um. the one we got wrong. Is it really good? Yeah. Did anybody get that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'd never heard of it. I've heard of it, I stopped but I've watching never that show it. when Zoe Deschanel left. Oh, is it good? no spoilers. I'm not that. I didn't know that. See, I, I think she comes <laughs> yeah, back. I didn't know she left. And actually, I got a big spoiler from just reading this part because uh, Schmidt, uh, up until the point we've watched, has just been Schmidt, and then I hear, oh, he's going to going to be a big war, and he decides to use his first name, which is already the name of one of the roommates, and they're not going to like that. So that was I just learned that. And finally, one of my favorite shows, and I actually am binge watching the whole thing, and I'm almost done with the third season. The fourth season is uh, in the works, Westworld. Yeah. Oh, How is it that you uh, have so much time to watch so much? I'm retired. Well, it's, yeah. not, it's not complete, Rob, is it? Like what? the series, is, Westworld series isn't complete? Uh, they're doing the fourth, which will be released early next year. I don't even know Never how they can continue. They kind of really... Matt, no spoilers for people. Out. Well, no and then spoilers. their set burned down too. Don't yes, say it did. It oh, did. wait, like behind the scenes, their set burned down, not like part of the show, yeah. right? That's correct. Kevin's here. Yeah. Wow. Kevin, where have you been? Okay. So, okay. So, hopefully, people got at least eights on that. Okay. So, I'm going to do the scores. Now, keep in mind, Kevin just joined us. So, so lie about your score. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So that you can get oh, an extra player. If you, want, if you want Kevin. I think I think we got two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I don't think I you should lie about sure. that much. Somebody's gonna say one. I don't know. Okay, Omnicrom from um, Unicrom is responsible for QAnon. We got 10. Yes. Wow. That was Rob's team. That's the team I didn't do anything but just go. Oh, we're done? Okay, cool. So Susan's curse couldn't be enacted because the well, other Susan people knew got up and left. <laughs> <laughs> got, Susan got up and left. You went there for half of it. You came back and like, we're done. I'm like, oh, well, that was easy. Um, Washington's walloping, washing, warning, waning. Nine. Uh-huh. Okay, the earth is not flat, but it should be. Five. What? 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 Alan? <laughs> Did we get five? Was it four? What was number one again? The answer? Yes, um, we okay. changed it to something right. No, it's, yeah, it's five. We got five. Yeah, I didn't That's think five. we got that much. Might be getting Kevin, too. Okay, the foggy bottoms from Washington, D.C. Nine. 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 Uh, okay, we are not a cult. Seven. seven. Okay, I guess who gets Kevin? 
Yeah, better spread than I thought on this. Good. Darn it. Kevin, where were you when we needed you? <laughs> what, what was the category? What TV series are we from? I gave five or six characters and you had to pick the TV series. Oh boy. The category, Rob. I've known a few. I liked it. It was good because they were very obscure characters for the most part. Yeah. yeah well, some, some of them. Yeah. Like, like the one to years, like they're just the family and the two friends. So that was all of them. Yeah. And hey, Arnold, Kevin Arnold, Karen Arnold. Like, hey. Friends was a giveaway. Friends was a giveaway. Yeah. Except for Susan, who's never seen it. <laughs> I've never seen it either. And I still know I've that never one. seen it. I actually heard people guessing that Star Trek. I was surprised at that one, even with the somewhat obscure character. I haven't even gotten it from those names at we all. We didn't get that one right, but we had it right and then changed it. Yeah. God I damn it. it. And, yeah, okay. anyone who's a big enough fan of Star Trek knows all those. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like I, I didn't pick somebody on an obscure planet in one episode. These were right. main characters in each of the series. You're calling yeah, them out, Ben. Yeah. No true fans. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Rob. Robert. Hey, Bob, you're next. Do you want the the flockmaster, flockmaster, flockmeister to get the um, permissions, or the Bob A? No. Oh. Uh, uh, Blockmeister, that's my phone. Yeah. Okay, you got it. I'm doing the I'm doing the questions over here on. Uh, it's a whole thing. Okay, you're up. Oh. Um. My um. My category Chicken. is called mandatory home state category, Illinois edition. Good job. Okay, that works. Okay. And okay, there you go. There's the title. Very good. Very okay. good. We haven't done Illinois yet, so that's perfect. Whoever got Ben might be a little better off. No. Okay. <laughs> Not based on how he did in the state he lived in for 30 years. <laughs> yeah, I've only lived in Illinois a few years. I get a few questions. This rock band from Illinois formed in 1973 and still tours with the original members Rick Nielsen and Robin Zander. What is the name of this band? Somebody's got to mute us all. Oh, on it. I, yes. Hi all. Yes, you only sorry. had one job. <laughs> <laughs> Unmute yourself, Bob. Okay. Number two. In 1958, just a minute. Okay. In 1958, Francis Blank discovered the fossil of a strange new creature, which was designated as the state fossil in 1989. Since its discovery, over a thousand more have been found, all of them in Illinois. Without confusing it with a certain Sesame Street character, what is the name of this animal? Either the common name or the genus will be accepted. Just a minute, okay. Okay, the copying is kind of cumbersome. Okay, number three. On May 17th, 1955, the Illinois General Assembly approved the official state slogan, Land of Lincoln. Before that, Illinois was known as the Prairie State, but Illinois had an older unofficial slogan that dates back to the state's earliest days. What was this slogan? Ooh. Multiple choice, maybe? <laughs> No. No. I, I, um, okay, number four. This town gained prominence and prosperity in, early, in the early 1800s because of the valuable mineral mined there. In 1860, Ulysses S. Grant moved there to work at his father's leather goods business. There's a connection between this town and the origin of the slogan from the previous question. 
What is the name of this town? Okay. Troy Grove, formerly Homer, Illinois, is the birthplace of this folk hero of the American West. He was known for his life on the frontier as a soldier, scout, lawman, gambler, showman, and actor, and for his involvement, involvement in many famous gunfights. He died on August 2nd, 1876 in the Dakota Territory at age 39. What name was he commonly known by? Question four didn't make it in chat. Oh. Thank you, Susan. I was just going to say that. Oh, right. Yeah, all right. There you go. Let me do that. Oh. Oh. Number six. The 43rd and current governor is J.B. Pritzker. How many of his 10 predecessors, predecessors, governors 33 through 42, spent time in prison for corruption of one form or another? I'll do, a plus, I'll do a plus or minus one on that. So you've got a three, <laughs> three number range. Which of these is not the name of an Illinois county? And I've got Grundy, Saline, Davies, and Edgar. Number eight, which Illinois town is associated with the invention and manufacture of, bar of barbed wire? The name of the county will also be accepted. Okay, number nine. Illinois' 20th governor who served from 1893 to 1897 was known for his support of prison reform and his sympathy for labor causes. He refused to authorize President Cleveland's sending of federal troops to quell the Pullman strike and pardon the three surviving men convicted in the Haymarket Affair of 1886. He influenced the design of five castle-like structures in Illinois universities, three of which bear his name. His last name will be accepted as a correct answer. We don't know the correct answer. Number 10. Okay, number 10. In 1844, Mormon founder Joseph Smith was shot and killed when a mob attacked the jail where he was being held. Name the town or county in which this took place. Okay, and I have a bonus question. It's a it's just a yes or no, so 50-50. Are, are non-avian dinosaur fossils found in Illinois? And that's fossils found in the ground by fossil hunters, not somebody who lost his fossil and somebody else found it, you know. <laughs> As one does. All right, any questions? Okay, you want me to send them to the rooms? You want to do it, Bob? Uh, I, I don't, I don't care. Oh, I, no, go ahead. I can't. I don't. All right, everybody, go to your rooms. Play nice. Wear your mask. Wash your hands.
Okay, Kevin, you are going to go to play on the earth is not flat, but it should be. Okay. All right. Uh, no, no. Okay. I got one. Cheap trick. No. Cheap trick. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, number one is okay. cheap trick. First I did not know that. Cars, and then that's the only one I know. Thanks for knowing that, Mike. I wanted to say I knew something. <laughs> I do not know number three. Well, what's number two? Yeah. Uh, uh, um... Crick? Oh, it's the name. Okay, without confusing with the name, certain Sesame Street character, what is the name of this animal? Oh, so we weren't supposed to name his name. Okay, so. It's probably named after him. So that's probably yeah. why. Without confusing it with the Sesame Street character. What is the name of this animal? Okay, so we've got the Count. We've got Grover. We've got Elmo. We've got- uh, Oscar. Oscar. Oscar the Grouch. Well, it's a kind of animal. But it was named after this- but It's a fossil. fossil. So how about- To so a mammoth, like a, which could be like confused with a snuffleupagus. A woolly mammoth. That's this mammoth? You might guess. The common name of the genus was certain No, but that's not a genus. Grover. The woolly mammoth. The common name. Well, Grover kind of sounds like it would be yeah. a last name. Yeah. But it's a kind of animal you would find fossilized. So my guess would be woolly mammoth because that does resent the Staphylococcus does resemble a woolly mammoth. Yeah. Yeah, and the other thing is uh, Mammon is a pretty common French last name. So, well, I don't I don't know I don't know why he's blanked out the last name of the, it doesn't Let's put a uh, Mammoth for now and also put Grover and then we'll decide later. Well, I don't know what a gro what is a Grover? I don't know isn't either, but it just sounds, a, isn't it a just... Mammoth is at least yeah, but yeah. isn't it? It's the answer of the question. It's a type of fossilized mammal that they found a thousand of in Illinois. Yes. Well, that would uh, be a that would be a mammoth. Yeah. yeah. So let's see. Number three read is the, read the no question idea. carefully, and you'll see that Rover makes no sense at all. Discovered the it could be, We just don't know what it's called. It was designed as a stick. Well, no, Grover is that there is no animal called a Grover ever. I mean, it's not sure? a common animal. Found. They're asking for a common name of an animal. Why is the last name of Francis blanked? I, I don't know. My but guess it doesn't, is doesn't that say, but it doesn't name matter. Is, name is somehow derived from his I name. I think it's, you know what? He's I'm sure the mammoths have been found all over. And this name is falling all blank in the name. He's asking it for the common name or genus. I think what it's something it? besides a woolly mammoth because okay. also woolly mammoths have been a, a been they're all over known for a long time for longer than that right and, and well and if, there, if you have a better answer i'm I, again i am yeah, not I, i'm pretty sure it's mammoth. not going to be woolly mammoth i just because... know that grover is okay there's no such thing as a grover i mean it's a character on um okay let's move on because that's just too confusing yeah. three okay. the windy city well also not okay. uh not it. No. I have no idea. Um, for number four, my guess is Rockford, just because it is rock in the name, but that's just just a guess. Let me read it again. Oh, uh, the slogan. For the previous answer. Which we didn't also did not get. Yeah. If we don't know the previous one, this it doesn't make this one any easier, unfortunately. I think this one could make the previous one easier if we can figure out what it's related to. Okay, so five. <laughs> um, for four, can we put down Rockford for the moment? I yeah. beyond yeah. the word beyond rock being in the name. I have no good reason for it. There's a connection um, between this town and the origin of the slogan, Rockford. 
So we so so on question three, it could be that the unofficial slogan had something to do with rocks. Is Illinois uh, is known for rocks? Is it a rocky place? I mean, I've been there, but I don't really remember. Um, let's see, number five, Tony Troy Grove. The mineral rock state, the. Mm, okay, number, where are we on five? Yeah. Okay. Was he one of the people killed at the OK Corral? Uh, this is, um, what's his face? This is um, uh, Davy Crockett. Oh. Mm. What, didn't Davy Crockett die in the Alamo? Oh, yeah, yeah, this can't be him. Buffalo Bill Cody? Yeah, that's it. You know, I think he Buffalo ended up being older, though. Billy the he Kid? Was, he was, no, it wasn't Billy the Kid. Wait. Um, hmm. You're right. Uh, Cody was um, older. Yeah. Um, was it Wyatt Earp? Or, no, Wyatt Earp was his name. So never mind. Wyatt Earp was his name. 39. Doc Holliday? He died at the OK Canal. Uh, oh, Canal. Corral. Okay, was, Corral. Was in Dakotas? Not according to that movie, but. <laughs> No, the OK Corral is in Arizona, I think. Oh, okay. New Mexico. That was in. It's not. A, it's not in Illinois. Yeah. Okay, formerly home of Illinois is the birthplace of this folk hero. Johnny Appleseed? No, he was not a gambler. No. Like the fact that it's the American West, definitely, you know, and a gunslinger. Like, or famous gunfight, famous in gunfights. Well, it says he was a lawman, so he was probably a good guy, not a. In theory. <laughs> well, yeah. Soldier, scout, lawman. Okay. I mean, my guess would be Buffalo Bill Cody. Maybe. Even though I don't think. He, although. I mean, that's a really good guess, but I thought he was older. But I mean, you know, <coughs> just seemed older. Well, if you don't have any better guesses. Yeah, for yeah. Us. six. Yeah, oh, this is a guess. We're just going to have a guess. I know there's at least three. I, I would say more than half. I really? Okay. Half. So should we say six? Are, really? really more than half? How many of his predecessors? Ten predecessors. So. Let's say there was Ryan, Governor Ryan, um, Blagojevich, um, and wasn't there another one? Oh, there, there's another one of other than Blagojevich. Um, but I don't can't think of anyone not owning others. Not that I've heard of it, none that I'd heard about really growing up. Hmm. I know there's at least three. So maybe we could, if you think five is an acceptable answer, then we would go with, I would go with four. But. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Okay. Mike, are you feeling strongly? Are you are you feeling strongly about it being more than half? Um, I know at one point it was more than half, but it that may not be the last ten. But I do think it's a lot. Just the way you ask the question, you yeah. know it's a lot. Well, if we said five, then you've got four or six. Well, I mean, three is also a lot, considering that most states do not have any <laughs> in the last 10 years. Last 10 yeah. Years. Well, if we say four, then that's three and five. I don't know. I, I think more closer to... We can split the difference. If they're five, then we could go. Five. Yeah. Then they'd be four, five, and six. Five. Yeah. Five. Okay. I have absolutely no idea for number seven. I've never heard of any of them. Well, well at least we had a multiple choice. 
Well, the stupidest sounding one is saline. That's what I was thinking, but that could be just thrown us up. I'm sure he just cool. made that up. So it's probably saline. something like Edgar or something, which sounds like it could be a perfectly good county name. Yeah. Counties are named all kinds of things. Yeah. Like all over the place. My my family's from Izzard. Izzard County. Was it named after Eddie Izzard? Oh, but it was named after a person whose last name is Izzard. Most counties in Washington are named after the local uh, Native American tribes. Yeah, that would make sense. Snohomish, Sammamish. But then we've got like King and Thurston and yeah. I would either say Grundy or Edgar. The other two look like they Which is not. I don't know. Saline sounds funny to me. I know. That's why I think it's picked. Okay. That's why I think it's right. It sounds like something you just saw. And he's trying to think of a name and he saw it sitting on his bathroom counter or something. So no, because we want to know which one is not the name. I know, but that, it just seems like that's what he would have picked. But no, right. I, so are you saying that real. he is not? No, I think it's real, but oh. it just seems stupid enough that we would. Okay. Okay. Um, we would say that would be the obvious not. But he could be thinking that we're going to say that. So he's the. Not. Oh, oh, we're going to yeah, do exactly. that. We're going to do the reverse. Yeah. yeah. See, you never know. Could be, yeah. But you thought maybe this. And, okay. No. Go back to the Bob Wire now. Let's see, number eight. The invention and manufacture of Bob Wire. I don't think anybody's gonna be done with this category. In this uh, I will I, um, throw out just in the name of another town in Illinois, just because it's another one. How about Aurora? I've. It's a town in Illinois. It's one of the larger ones. And I was gonna say Peoria, but I think Number 10, Peoria, I think, was where Joseph Smith was killed. Well, I, there's Cook County, Illinois. Yeah, but that's the Chicago County. Oh. Could it be Barb Town? <laughs> Let's put down Aurora just for now because it's something. I have no idea whether it's right or not. Um, I have no, I, let me try and think of buildings in Illinois or university stuff. Um, I'm yeah, I have no idea. Yeah. Castle-like uh, structures. Why would they be? The design would be castle-like. On university campuses, that's just a theme. Yeah. Castles. Yeah. My, the building that I work in is castle-like. Yeah, there's a bunch on UW's campus, too, that are like that, where they, you know, they make it in the style of the universities, like the old universities in, you know, England and in Europe. They just copied the style. You know, put something that looks pretty castle-like. But yeah, I have no idea. But you think number 10 is Peoria? I think. Kind of sounds familiar. I, I know that Ono, Ross, and Kerry, I think they mentioned it on a, or may have been them that mentioned it recently in a podcast. I don't know why they would have mentioned it though. Somebody mentioned, some podcast that I listened to mentioned it recently. Well, the bonus is badly needed. I would think yes. Yeah, they're found like everywhere. Wait, wait, wait. Non-avian. Aren't all dinosaurs? Nope. nope, there are definitely avian dinosaurs. No, they're all avian. No. No, there are non-avian dinosaurs. What? All the dinosaurs without feathers. Well, T. Rex had feathers at one point, didn't he? Oh no, the the avian means is like it's like the bird family. So, yeah. and then like, um, yeah. So you're yeah, saying they came like, from a lizard? These dinosaurs do not have, like, they did not. They do not believe they had feathers. So then it's probably yes, because of course it would have some, right? Yeah, oh, I mean, and then. Day. 
yeah and it's i mean you just go into the field museum you can find some fossils there that are not uh, uh, i don't think that's gonna pass uh, yep i i it's i think it, they it's can't a trick be question there i think it's yes i think so too okay so do we get anything here no not much we got cheap trick wow uh yep oh i'm just trying to scroll it back up to three i can't scroll it thanks jeff yep. okay land of lincoln prairie state i mean i doubt we're gonna get it if it's not something that you know i think it has something to do with rocks probably but The Rock Garden State. Hmm. I can hear Paula laughing in the other room. She's having a very good time. That's well, good. Um, Wait, we should make a guess at number seven because it's multiple choice. So we have a 25% chance of getting it right, even if we guess it random. I vote for... Seconding okay. by Grundy's. Second. I would say Grundy. My vote. Okay. But I don't really know. Okay. I'm willing to go with Grundy. Okay. <laughs> I so, have no bearing in which to judge these at all. How about on three? How about we say the groundhog state? Because the next one was prairie still. I don't know. Groundhog, uh, the rock groundhog, rock, the ground rock state. No. The ho rock hog state. The rock hard state? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so either. But, you um, know, how like, about if we're talking about like a hundred years ago when it probably meant something different? <laughs> rock and roll rock rock but that that doesn't make any sense if it's going to predate lincoln or if it's going to predate 1955 and predate the previous slogan before 1955 so before lincoln it was prairie state yeah so, so what sometime before been? 1955 oh one of the rooms is done Oh Lord. Um, I'm gonna throw out just the name of a highway in over an expressway for the one with the the um governor. Um that's a good idea. Um, how about the Edens? So Edens. I was gonna say Dan Ryan, but I think I recall my dad telling me that he had no idea who Dan Ryan was and was probably just a business person. So, yeah, well, your dad's gonna probably ace this. He might. He's still in <laughs> his room. They haven't moved yet. If it is Dan Ryan, I'm going to be very sad. Rock, rock, the granite rock state. Is that a possibility? The granite I mean, state? It could be, the, it could the garden, be the, granite state. The, the rock garden state? The granite. Also, for number two, are we going to Take choose it for William granite Mammoth? state? Wait, what? For number two, are we choosing Woolly Mammoth? No, we should, we should, I don't know. I don't like either of those choices that we have. Okay, name some more Sesame Street characters. Um, Big Bird, Rosette, Ro, um, what's Rose something or other? Uh, um, Rosita. Um, Elmo, Elmer, Elmo. Elmo. Snuffleupagus. Could there be a Snuffleupagus or something sort and, it, and it's a derivative of a woolly mammoth? It's a snuff. It's not a Snuffleupagus, but it's like a. I mean, I could conceive snuff a, snuff a mammoth. Snuff it's conceivable that there could be like some weird bird fossil that was, um, like a large weird large bird that, um, was discovered in. Oh, so that's where you get the big bird. That could be. But I would have no idea what it would be called. So, what is the name of the animal? It would be. I'm not confused with sir. Okay, so we wouldn't say Big Bird, but we'd say. 
red big bird or something like that. Mm. Thousand, only a thousand have been found, all of them in Illinois. How about if we just name the 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 Sesame Street character? <laughs> How about an Illinois emu? <laughs> an Illinois ostrich. How about a yellow giant? Why do you ostrich? think it's not a woolly mammoth? Because there's because woolly mammoths have been found all over the United States. And they've been found a lot before then. And way more than a thousand. Okay. And besides, it's got to be something that would be, the name of it is got to be similar to something that would sound like a Sesame Street character. Like, I think Big Bird is a really good chance. So it makes sense that it would be like one group of bird, large bird that was found in Illinois. It's all found in this one area. And it, was, and it probably couldn't fly, which is why it's all like in that same area. And they probably called it some form of Big Bird, like. Or at least I think maybe it just looked like Big Bird, in the, in that it was like large. You? Yeah. Well, how about like if it's, uh, the Grundy Big Bird, or the Davies Big Bird, and it, and and it was found in 1958. And Francis, that's why his last name is Crick. Isn't it Francis Crick? Wasn't he the guy who discovered the fossil? Isn't that a famous person's name? He was the Crick, Watson and Crick, I think. Yeah. He was like the okay. yeah. Clark, who allegedly, you know, were co co discoverers of DNA. They kind of weren't. But they were British, though, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So who? So this guy's last name, Francis. Is probably the name of the bird. So it's probably Francis something Big Bird. So they would they would have said used his last name in Big Bird, and that's why it's got the underline on it. Let's just put Big Bird there and because it's funny. <laughs> Francis Nolan Big Bird or something. I mean, it's probably something like that, and that's why we can't think of what it is. Let's put Nolan Big Bird. <laughs> why How about Nolan? the Gerbic Big Bird? The Gerbic Big Bird. It's probably Francis. Can you guys think of another person named Francis? Um, Francis Drake, Francis Scott Key, Francis. Um, this is in 1958. Yeah, I know. I, all the Francis's I can think of are like back in like ages, like the, more than a, uh, a century and a half ago. Well, let's, we need something for number three. Francis Johansson. Okay. The Johansson uh, Big Bird. <laughs> I bet you were on the right track, though. We just don't know his name. How about the Novella Big Bird after the the uh, the yeah. um the bird watcher the birder Steve Novella. Um, Francis Moa. Number three. He's Francis Moa, the one who discovered the Moa. Oh, the Moa. Moa Moa. Yeah, but aren't Moas the uh, New Zealand a New Zealand yeah. thing? Okay. How about an emu? Francis emu? Yeah. No. I, well, we, I we need know. something for three. Okay, so I told you something like rock garden state or rock. I mean, it could be the granite state or something. Well, there is a granite That's state, a, isn't there? Yeah, yeah I think so. Mm. Oh, here comes Robin. I don't maybe the diamond state. Illinois? How about the fossil Illinois. state? We are talking about lots of fossils there. There is a there is a diamond mine in the US. I'm trying to remember if it's in Illinois. It's one of the biggest. Maybe, maybe it's like the Emerald State. Could be. Let's put that down because I like the color emerald. You know, wasn't Chicago supposed to be Oz? Yeah, that's true. Maybe it's so, okay. Maybe it's the emerald state. You know, that could be because. Susan, huh? How much more time do you think we should? I should give people. You should tell me. 
how do you yeah. who do you think people have, are yeah well just one team has come back but what does everybody I mean, else people, think i think people are pretty stumped on a lot of them so i don't know how much more time okay yeah uh, it might be it might be time okay so you spend a while so go go to the main room and, and close the yeah that's what right. you want to do go to the main room. room yep okay Susan, okay. is my dad seem the one that's back nope oh okay faith romero carl and rob of course carl is the one that only that. probably knows all about illinois yeah. I think the Emerald State is a really wait. Bad. So there's a connection between this town and the origin of the slogan from the previous question. So how about so what if this Oz, is Chicago? What if this uh, is Chicago? I don't know how to get back to the off. main room. Oh, just hit leave room. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think there were any mines in Chicago. Because oh, I mean, prominence and prosperity in the early 1800s because of the valuable mineral mine there. It, I, from what I understand, it came to prominence because of uh, of its um, being like a crossroads for like um, uh, the of the um, trains and stuff. Mm. I I think Chicago is a good guess on four. But where would there be mines there? Because it's right on well, a river. Could be who knows where. And it says the valuable mine, the valuable mineral mine there didn't have to be in a mine. It could be like gold or emeralds or. I don't think it would have been Chicago, but. It's a big place. It says it received prominence and prosperity. And it says in 1860, Grant moved there to work at his farmer's leather. So there's a connection between this town and the origin of the slogan from the previous state. So maybe they found emeralds there. If you want. Could, I mean, emerald, where else would you find emeralds? I mean, wouldn't you maybe find them Maybe in there? Rockford? I don't know. But I guess we have more of a reason I think it's Chicago. for Chicago than we do for Rockford. Because for my reason for making Rockford was just because of the rock in the name. And it's Chicago? was like we said we said I, we think it was the early oz it was the place for oz i think yeah it seems right I think okay. it's fine like i know this is going to be a crapshoot already like you know we've, but i think everybody's gonna have the same issue yeah i think so too this is just tight enough okay so we got okay scroll down let's see i don't remember the other questions eight Jeff? Yeah. Can you scroll down so I can see question eight and nine? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yep. Barbed wire. And I just guessed a random city for that one. Yeah. What if it's Rockford? <laughs> you know what? I don't really care. No you guys idea. can put whatever you want. Because I really have no idea. Like it is a straight up guess. Yeah, like I just know that Aurora is a city in in Illinois, and so is Rockford. Both of those are things I have to believe you on. Yeah, that's the, that's sound familiar. State of, yeah, that I'm in at the moment. So. I don't know. That's fine. I think we're as good as we're going to get. I think so too. Okay. All right. Good job, you guys. That was great. I don't think we've been able <laughs> yeah. to do any of these. See you in the room. I, I'm trying to do it from my computer, but I can't find the. I think Bob wants the rooms closed. I got it. I just did okay. it. Break out of yeah. Okay, good. Forcing them all back. Else did it. That was hard. Hi, Robin. Yeah, I maybe should have done some. No, no, I like them to be difficult. Yeah. I think we're all going to have it's, some trouble. It's, it's stuff that I that I sort of already knew, but I went in and, and you know, made sure I was in. And I was surprised that I was wrong about some things. We'll have learned something, trust me. Robin yeah, probably was, was kicked ass on this. Information. Yeah. 
exactly right, but you know, they were. If I was in a room alone, I, Bob, I would have got zero. I can't even pronounce your state correctly because it's Illinois. <laughs> Bob, the yeah, proper pronunciation is Illinois. Illinois. <laughs> it's out west, right, Bob? That's way out west. <laughs> Okay. Anything west of New Jersey is out west. Jersey right. is everybody back. Nope. Uh, they're coming back right now. Uh, Paula is the only one we're waiting on. Hi, Karen. I'm here. Hi, Robin. Hi, Karen. <laughs> so, all right. Go ahead. Okay. I'm going to. All right, I'm gonna share. So I just gotta show a couple of pictures to make it more interesting. Share screen. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Oh, don't show us anything you shouldn't see. No, embarrassing that? on your computer. <laughs> Possible. It is, it is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. okay. Number one is cheap trick. Yay. Yay. We got that right. So, oh, so what does that have to do with the, the tiny creatures we're seeing? Oh, he's just, they're, they're cheap. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. They're tricky. <laughs> Number two is the Tully monster, Francis Tully. He was just an amateur fossil hunter. Not Maybe about Tully. Tully, the, that's a, oh, there's he was a, a Sesame character. Street character named Kelly Monster. Uh, Bob, the, just, just to be clear, Bob, do you think you're sharing yeah. pictures of these things with us? I'm not... Well, that's the Tully Monster. Am I not? What am I doing? We see a Tully Monster. We, we have some kind of a small creatures on the screen. Yeah, yeah, the that's monster. the Tully Monster. Okay. No, it's and not. Oh. How, the how do you spell Tully? How do you spell it? T-E-L-L-Y. The, the Sesame Street character is oh, yeah. Telly. T-E-L-L-Y. So it's T-A-L-L-Y? You. And you. the... Wait, wait. The, one person. How do you spell it? To you? Yeah, to you. I'll post the answers in just a second. Okay. <laughs> I write them down as we go. Okay. It looks sort of like a piece. You Thank you, Avi. The Latin, the genus is Tully Monstrum. So it's just, they took Tully Monster and made it Latin. Tully of course Monstrum. it is. Uh, number three, here's, oh, here's another, that's a, another re rendition. Of how a, big was it? How, how big was it? He has portholes. Uh, well, in the, <laughs> in the first one, that's it's about, a, about a foot. Okay, not <gasps> super big. A piece oh. of rock thing there. That's, oh, that's, that's about a foot long. They're big enough to give you the willies if you met one. <laughs> wow. Um, it's scary looking. It number like three. Guessing, pulling a, what it looks like out of their, their butt. Okay, fine. You see, can you see <laughs> Illinois? Can you see the name for Illinois? No. No? The sucker oh. state. The sucker state, yeah. Oh my God, I've never heard that. Yeah, it's, no, it's, we, we always knew that. We, we heard that. And I've it was a that. it was a serious thing that in Lincoln had a campaign song when he ran for president and referred to him as a sucker. It didn't mean uh, somebody who was gullible or or anything like that. It was the fish, the sucker. I ain't you know, no fish. What is that on that picture? That's a pig. Well, they got a, a pig banjo. there. They got a pig there. <laughs> So where do you eat the sucker fish? Uh, I'll get to that because the, the next one. <laughs> wait, wait. What's the what's that pig? What's that pig doing on the donkey under Lake Erie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> donkey doesn't like it. Whatever it is, it's stupid. That says Buckeye. Oh, these are Buckeye. all pigs. And he's bucking. Oh, Aren't they're all pigs. pigs. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Oh, okay. So that's a great poster, the, actually. I love it. Hog. Knickerbocker. Well, Massachusetts, they still call the Bay State, so that's a good name. Huh. I like the longhorn pig. That's great. Hey, number four is Galena, Illinois. Galena is a lead sulfide, which is a, uh, or you just melt it down and you got lead, and lead was very, I didn't which say it was a precious mineral. mineral, I said it was a valuable mineral. Okay. All right. 
Okay, Wait, so, so so what's the connection between three and four? I am getting to that. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody just calm down. Yeah, so you, don't somebody, count your chickens, you guys. Somebody with powers mute everybody. Um, <laughs> no, okay. I want to stand muted. Don't count it your pigs a, before they're riding was, the donkey. <laughs> was, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna do that again. Uh, it was a mining community and the and miners would come up the Mississippi in the spring when it was warm enough to go down in the mines and they would mine for the season and in the fall they would as it got cold they would go back down the Mississippi where they came from and that's what the sucker fish do so this migration this seasonal migration reminded the somebody in Galena of the of the sucker the suckers so they called them suckers and then Galena really was an important um, uh, community, and uh, it, the whole state was called that for a long time. It was a Lincoln campaign song where they called him, they referred to him as a sucker, but it just meant it, it's like a Hoosier. It was like Hoosier. <laughs> okay. That means something different in Missouri, though. Yeah. Well, it later be, became. Who, in, in Missouri, Hoosier means hillbilly redneck. Okay. It's almost always uh, preceded by the word fucking. Not... And fucking <laughs> I thought it was just a football team. <laughs> no, it's, it, it's Indiana. Right. Okay. Still. So uh, number five was Wild Bill Hickok. Yay. Oh, oh, we, we did that, but man, we went back and forth. I didn't think he died yeah, so well, young. He died. I, I, I thought they, he, the Dakota Territory, I think Dakota, one of the Dakotas, Deadwood, I thought that would get it. The yeah. Other Bill. Okay. Well, um, he looks yeah, like this, yeah, dead, dead man's hand. And he looks like Custer. So would Custer be a good answer to it? <laughs> <laughs> no. hey, sure, good sure, Alan. The answer, answer is Jeff Bridges. <laughs> <laughs> it would be a perfect answer if, if perfect involves getting no points. Yeah. Um, number six was uh, the four governors. Um, so so th any answer for three to five yes. is okay. Yay! Right. Lucky. Lucky. Uh, number seven. Strategy. The, the non-county was was Davies, D A V I. Oh man. man! There is a Joe Davies County. Uh, Galena is the county seat, but it's they're the same guy. He was a, a officer. He was a general, or who fought in uh, he, he was fought at the Battle of Tippecanoe. So there are three Davies counties in um, Missouri, Kentucky, and Ohio, and then in Illinois, it's Joe Davies County. And are they spelled with a double S? Yeah, D A V I E S S. Yeah, I'm, I'll post these in just a second. Um, will you accept? And, uh, will you accept Cook? <laughs> <laughs> he might have cooked. Will you accept a wrong answer for a point? <laughs> no. Perfect. Okay. Number eight is uh, DeKalb, DeKalb, Illinois. Oh, we almost got that. County. That's where I grew up. Oh. Right. So that's we we knew all about barbed wire. I thought maybe we're at least true. <laughs> Number nine. <laughs> we were just talking about it. At dinner tonight. We knew uh, about Bob Wire. And you know, I've mentioned DeKalb. You know, if you listen to me, I've 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 given oh, a little. Oh, hints. okay. Yeah, yeah. It is is oh. Aurora is Aurora in DeKalb County? No, no, yeah. it's. it's uh, how do you spell it? A R uh -oh. DeKalb. Bobby, A R U. You know, if I get through this, I'll post Northern it. Illinois University. Bobby, you Northern Illinois University is in DeKalb. Yes. This doesn't help me, and, Dad. And guess. And, and when it was when it was first built as a nor, as a normal Northern Illinois Normal College, the only building was Alt Geld Hall. That's oh Alt Geld. Two, two other Alt Geld Halls. Yeah, John Peter Alt Geld was was the guy. Oh. His the supporters called him the poor man's friend, and he was you know, very liberal and stuff like that. But he he died very young from health problems. Uh, number ten. When I when I came up with it, I thought I, I thought it was uh, Nauvoo, but when I looked, it was the town of Carthage, which was the county seat, yes. and the yeah. county was Hancock. So, for some reason, I thought it was Peoria, because I just yeah, I don't know. it's the only city you know. Well, no, but I thought I heard a bunch of bad things happening in Peoria. So maybe yeah, 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 probably did. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna post them. Did we finish? Oh. So no, bonus, the, the bonus, the bonus 
was uh, no, there are no dinosaurs. Um, did we get it right for the wrong reason? What? I'm gonna look that up. We missed the 50% 50 50 question. Yeah. So why, why did you differentiate it, by the way? Are there avian dinosaurs? In yeah. Well, well Find it possible? You, okay, for the pedants in the group, you say, well, is that <laughs> bird or dinosaurs? Do they have bird fossils? You know, I mean, I'm just... No, I'm no, just no, I didn't, I didn't mean that. Crazy. But you specifically called out non-avian. And so that kind of implies that might be different than... Well, the in other words, any other kind of dinosaur. Well, yes, there's certainly going to be avian dinosaur fossils. I mean, yeah. birds have been in there for, for many I think years. He's trying to avoid the Rob question. Ah, okay. fool him. He should have known better. He was trying to be very clear, so that Did way he answer, can't question. avoid the Rob questions. Yeah. Did he answer number nine? Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm very curious about these questions. Yeah. What was number nine? What was nine? John Peter Altgeld. Altgeld. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the but the yeah. answers in the um. Yeah, I did. How did many I, counties uh, are in Illinois? That's like I, I just opened up to a map and it's like 50. they must all be like five miles across. <laughs> oh no, no. <laughs> it's a it's a pretty I'm trying to think what what how we're ranked with land mass. There's uh, a, Illinois, hell of a lot of counties. Illinois is a pretty big that pretty big state. There there's yeah, there are probably more counties than there are people in Oregon. It, yeah, some of them are very. That's surprised. that's what I think. Yeah, <laughs> it's out here. that's that's it, Kevin. I hope that's everybody, why I said Oregon. <laughs> I hope everybody went up to the first syllable of the original sl uh, slogan of Illinois in this round. <laughs> the, um, we got the, uh, the the geologic column kind of stops after the Carboniferous, the, the Tully monster is from the Carboniferous. Mm. And, and it's the Permian is almost non-existent. The entire Mesozoic is almost non-existent. It picks I, up against- I mean, I'm thinking, I, that's why I was asking if there were mountain, or, and we were talking about this in, in our group, is it like there's not a lot, any mountains, it's very flat, uh, Carl said. Did a glacier wipe it all out? Right, so, so like I, I, a lot of uh, North America was an inland sea, so that might well, be the reason. Yeah, from what I read that, that at during that period, nothing was being deposited. It was all being eroded away. So I don't know. So, so no dinosaur. So my life is a lie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so. Uh, all right. So I'm, getting, soon. I'm getting these in here. Good job. I we we're, boy we've covered a lot of uh, states. We've got a few that we haven't done, but we're gonna get through these all, huh? I, I hope. I, I throw down the gauntlet to other states. Okay. Good job. Very good job. Okay, let's go over to the scores and nobody disappear before we take a picture. So. Picture? What picture? Photo. Photo. Okay, so let's see if you guys can see these scores now. Let's go with the earth is not flat, but it should be. Five. Hey, you are you are tied for first. <laughs> we're, we're very consistent. There you go. So far, so we are not a cult. Two, three. three? No, we got three. I missed one. We All right, Buffalo you Bill, are Chief tied for first. The governors, but we got oh, the wrong Buffalo, Buffalo Bill. Bill. It wasn't Buffalo Bill. It was Wild Bill Hickok. It was Wild Bill Hickok. Oh, I didn't know my. Sorry, too. <laughs> Different Bill. Yeah, we got. Yeah. Well, you're tied for second place. <laughs> Momentarily. Yeah, the foggy bottoms from Washington D.C. It might remain. I think we have four. Yeah, four. Okay, Washington's walloping, washing, warning, waning. Wait, did you did you type that in? Yes. Yeah. It's doing yeah. the thing again. Oh my god. <laughs> It's so bizarre that you can see the cursor move in real time, but it doesn't update the it doesn't do that. Okay, let me try share screen with the. It's, so it's you. It's all. There's you. a Google product manager that would love to get that video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I okay. Now, uh, oh, we're ahead. We're ahead. We're ahead. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're ahead. So, uh, Washington's walloping, washing, warning, waning. Two. Yay! Thank you. Okay, did it change? That one did, yes. Oh, no, I'm working. So, 
Let's see how Omicron from Unicron is responsible for QAnon. Oh, no. Oh. 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 Why did they all get to be on one group? Who was the, who was the Raider? Uh, Carl and, and uh, Romero, I think, mostly. Oh, okay. wow. Guess who gets Robin? Wow. We Not are not it's Robin. We do. I'll mud wrestle you for her. <laughs> uh, we the cult, Robin, come to the cult. Okay, so the take cult. A, let me take a photo. So everybody look nice. Make yourself look pretty. How do your teeth look? Wait, wait, wait. Can I change my glasses? We're safe. Wait, wait. Uh, there she is. So much better, Janine. <laughs> <laughs> I can see better. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay, got it. All right. Very good. Okay. Good night, minutes, yes, I don't have Good night. 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 Pretty soon, I'm going to come so late that I'm going to be Abby's replacement. <laughs> 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 oh, <God. laughs> oh, this is December. Oh, my gosh. How did it get to be December so soon? What was the first category? It means winter's over. I, I did. Um, what TV series are we from? And I gave five or mostly six characters from a show Ooh. going from the 50s to the current uh, decade. And you had to p say the name of the TV series. I, I only got I one that on, my team didn't get. I will play it online. I will, so if, I will, if I was here, we would. Yeah, if we were, if I was here, we would have had one more point. That's it. <laughs> Ooh. So, and, and 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 Karen, the range the range was uh, it was a big range. It was from five to ten. I will watch the video and play. Very good. Don't tell her any hints. So season two. Okay, we're in a break. Hey, I'll be right back. I'm gonna have a party with the other two members. <laughs> We should have Karen come running down here. <laughs> <laughs> well, eventually, if you have a big enough party, we wouldn't have to do it on Zoom. <laughs> Who's got categories tonight coming up? I think I'm next. Is that correct? She's not here to answer, but. Oh, well, we're room three. And I oh, know that's true. One, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're room three. Who's in room four? Doing a category. Everybody's on break. This feels like work to me. I come into work and take a break all day. At break time, I go do a little work. Can see in the reflection. <laughs> Wrap a towel around your waist. Are we all muted? Not me. No. Oh. I muted I myself because I was making noise. Oh, Kevin, I had a. a question for you. I yeah. Can't, I can't see you on my face. 
Okay, I just turned my camera back on. There, I see you, you're over here. Um, so you've had two, your complete two uh, COVID shots. Yes. Right? And then you got COVID. Yes. And now what are they telling you about a booster? That I'm, I don't need it. I won, is what he told me. You won. That's what Paul Offit told you. Okay. Yes. Paul Offit, I think, also is not a huge um, advocate of the boosters. Like, I think he doesn't think that they're really needed. Um, although, I don't know. He's going to be on TWIV uh, on the 15th, and they're going to talk about that. But then I have a girlfriend who had COVID, then got her two vaccinations, and she's in Turkey, and she wanted to know, do I need to get a booster now? And I'm thinking the same thing, that no. Just get a booster. Just do it. They're just not, if, not if I won. Yeah, Kevin's Paul already won. Said, Paul Offit told me I won. I don't need the booster. Yeah, Paul Offit gave you a pass. Where's Bob? And I that's, see him. that's the same with the other order of that. I've, I've also um, read a few things that say that, that getting a booster after the mRNA vaccines is kind of like topping off your drink that was seven-eighths full to begin with. <laughs> I'm taking exactly. it. Exactly. That's maybe, really maybe good. more than one. I yeah, don't but care. if you get really it, it good. sucks. So... How, how bad did it suck, Kevin, after having Look both at shots? Kind of well, I didn't go to the hospital, so I'm glad that I was vaccinated, but I had a severe headache for like a week. Uh, well, there's Casper. My, my wife had to cough, and it still seems like she still hasn't got fully over it, but she's not contagious anymore. But yeah. she had a bad cough. Paula back. That was fun. Sterling and Paula and I met in the so, kitchen. So how did, you, how did you get it, Kevin? A guy at work had it. And he was vaccinated, he was, too. He was vaccinated. Oh. And then his wife got sick. We don't know if she was vaccinated. He hasn't told us yet. And then he came into work on a Monday, and he called in on Tuesday saying he, he got tested positive. And Kevin I was, was hanging, hanging out, out with, with Trump. Him. I was hanging out with him on Monday for about 20 minutes in the coffee break room. And that's it. That's probably when I got it. And then I didn't get symptoms till Friday night. And then I had a real bad headache Friday night. Thought it might be something all weekend. Called in sick on Monday. Got tested on, on Tuesday and come back Wednesday positive. All right, we're back. So um, there's Jane. Kyle, why don't you start us off? Well, yeah, this week care. on Data Skeptic, our latest that I previewed last week, released we released our Black Friday episode. So a couple little interviews about people doing analytics and data science stuff related to this Black Friday holiday we've just had. I really enjoyed that episode with Linda. Oh, I like you. it when she's on because she explains it to me and I, I get it. She's, she's a layperson, so... Yeah, I really like that um, the Black Friday one. I listened. It to was it. a fun one. I listened to it. I think on Cyber Monday or whatever it was. The I've never been shopping on Black Friday ever once, except that uh, this this past weekend on the way home from my sister's house, we tried to make one little stop at the Gilroy Outlets to look at one store for one little thing. That was a big mistake. Oh yeah, yeah, it's very oh. scary. But you know, I've always had to work. I've always worked Black Friday, always. And so it's been such a relief never to have to go to a mall. But today I picked up Sterling from the airport and then Paula's plane was supposed to come in like within a couple minutes. And it was had a two and three hour delay, something like that. So Sterling four and I went to the mall hours. and hung out. I was supposed to leave at 8.30 and I left at um, 12.38. <sighs> But yeah, I really enjoy, I really enjoyed that episode, Kyle. Uh, I was kind of kind of surprised to hear you refer to it just now as a holiday. Is Black Friday an official holiday now? <laughs> <laughs> well, we treat it as such in the data sets uh, as part of the discussion. Yeah, she did. You know what I found? I thought I liked a lot about what she was talking about was the um, 
and I hadn't really thought about it before is how long and how hard it is for a product to make it to market. You know, if you're making a perfume or if you're making a cologne or a shampoo, you know, you have to order all this stuff. You have to, and the testing process. I didn't really think about all that, but boy, it, it, it made me think about how long a product would take to get there. And then when she said, like, like all the money's made in the last couple months of the year, and the rest of the year, you were like, well, that's, you know, only 40% of the money's made throughout the year. And then the last two months are going to have everything else. And she says, well, it's actually, you know, these other months are for testing and for working out, you know, I, and she's right, because like, maybe the rest of you, they could find out that maybe product A and product B sell well together, and they would be a really good, comp you know, thing to sell in a, like a gift package and then throw in a scrunchie or something. And then at the end, and then by Christmas time, that's how it's sold. So I thought that was a, I thought that was real interesting the way she brought that, broke it up. So anyway, data skeptic y'all. Yeah, thank you. Um, anybody have anything else? I've got like two things. Richard Saunders is in here. So um, what I have is, Rob, you don't have anything going on? I'm going to be talking at your conference and also at the New York City Skeptics one uh, right. in, a week, so in a week. That's a really good point. Thank you for mentioning that. Uh, Modern those, uh, County Skeptics up. is going to be the second Saturday in January. It'll be on, on Zoom. And uh, Kyle and Rob have agreed to give a talk. So I am looking for more talks, 20 minutes. Uh, about 20 minutes um skeptic camp talks so and the, new york, and the new york city skeptic one is a week before or actually earlier than it's next week uh kyle did you did you apply to that one i didn't and i'm sorry oh you reply i appreciate you flagging it for me i've just booked salad on a lot okay. of stuff because they're looking they're still looking for speakers susan you know who might be a good speaker is lauren pancrantz he has that new book out Oh, that's right. Will he go on Zoom? I haven't you? talked to him. I don't know. I haven't talked to him. I was going to email him today. I'll do it in the morning or to, after we get done. Yeah, that'd be great. Whether we he's interested in giving talks. He's, I always find him such an interesting speaker. Yeah. Bob, are you on Facebook? Not very much, but yeah. Well, I was trying to tag you and for your category and I don't see your name on there. Robert. Is, it, is it Robert? Yeah, we're friends. Yeah, I get you show up on my feed. Okay, let me see. Robert. A N T. A N T? Yeah. Oh, A N T H. Okay, it's okay. It's got like a black and white picture. Yeah, it's is your profile? We're sitting on the neck of a concrete uh, stegosaurus. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that makes sense then. Okay, so I was just doing that. So what I was going to say is uh, that article came out from the New York Times. It's been out and um, I've gotten some interesting people writing to me, <laughs> but it wasn't a big deal. The reporter wrote to me tonight because I had written some critical things about the article in some of the comments of the New York Times Facebook page. And so somebody sent them to her. So she wanted to make sure we were good. And I wrote to her and saying, you know, I'm, it was just a fluff piece you know and i was really disappointed that it was so fluffy so um yeah the thing that really annoyed me was she stated as fact claims that the person makes like when she was 16 years old walking through a gravesite she was able to determine the names of the people who were dead before they got to the gravestones yeah well that's what she says you know but that's yeah there was the no skepticism in or anything None. what i told her she what she wrote to me is she says susan i talked about five skeptics after i talked to you five people but she says i only used you because your quotes were so on she says you were much more factual and tight and i was like okay well that's nice but i still don't think it should have been i said she's one of a thousand people she's not that was not a famous person so now she's oh yeah but she's talking to one of the most famous people i said it just felt like the reason why she got for, the for people who don't know this she channels jesus yeah, I said, well, look, you know, this woman only got the article because of all the celebrities that worship her. So I used to talk to Jesus. <laughs> well, I didn't like it, but no, anyway, she so, channels Jesus, which means Jesus talks through her. 
I told her if she wants to talk to me again, I'm more than willing to talk to her again. So oh. anyway, then, um, so I mentioned that. The other thing is uh, we are having, uh, um, I'm putting together, just put this in the back of your mind, nothing finalized yet. I want to see what happens with this Omnicrom thing, but I'm thinking of putting up, putting together a, a meetup in, in Vegas in January. Did you say Omnicron? Whatever. And nobody's <laughs> pronouncing, no two people are pronouncing it correctly. So, um, you mean Unicron? Omicron. Ah, whatever. The O, the big O. So we're thinking of doing something in Vegas. <laughs> not the big O. <laughs> <laughs> we're thinking of doing something in Vegas in January. So just put that in the back of your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> in January? Did you see the, the anagram? The anagram of Omicron and... Oh, uh, here, here's Sterling like just sent me. It's Om and Omicron. And you're d during the post-holiday... Om uh, Om surge. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's your uh, pronunciation for it. Say it? Greek alphabet. How, well, it's O-M. How would you pronounce O-M in Greek? Is it Om or Om? Th th there's literally a pronunciation underneath it. I know, but I'm saying it says O-M. So Kevin, Kevin was talking about there's an anagram which the QAnon people have jumped on. Yeah. What, what was the anagram? I it's that. um ironic. It says um Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that it? <laughs> yeah. That's right. Media, what does it say? Media control or something like that? No, moron. I think it's moronic. 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 No, no, no. There's like two words together. Senator. It's um it's Delta and Omicron. And no, I haven't heard that one. No, I heard the moronic one. <laughs> the moronic because it's an anagram of yeah. um Okay. And my state yeah. senator, you cannot believe. No, did he say that? Oh, yeah. My okay, this is oh. in the state, just in the state. This is what he said. He said, um, let's see. Oh, I just misplaced it. I'm sorry. I should have had it right here. He says. Unless you've been living under a rock, the new variant has actually been around months, and you can't spell Omicron without moronic. Wow. And it came from South Africa, and the reason that you have to, um, so it was created in a lab, and Big Pharma likes new variants. Oh and um, which senator was this? This is Brian Boquist, who okay. is my state senator in Oregon. And he said, why is South Africa the state, the hated country? The continent of Africa has recently been in the news for maintaining very low rates of infections and big pharma can't have that. So South Africa is the one that has to be um, pointed out. And uh, Fauci says, everyone needs a booster shot to combat the moronic variant. But he's saying this without any scientific backing. There is absolutely no data that shows that booster shots are doing anything for the moronic variant. Uh, this is Fauci's knee-jerk reaction to land more dollars in big pharma's cash-laden pockets. Meanwhile, every day Americans can't afford their heating bills. Well, we could burn bodies. Oh, oh so there's a solution to, uh, I actually posted this in the Australian, our group, because uh, I knew Leonard was there and Leonard would comment on it to make sure I wasn't crazy. Because, all right, mechanical engineering background, some physics, and I keep seeing this ad for a heater to oh, significantly yeah. reduce your electric bill. So it's a little tiny thing that plugs into an outlet, oh, yeah. and it's and it's 50% more efficient than any other heater in the world, and it heats your house faster. Well, okay, my, my skeptical alarm and mechanical engineering alarm went off. All, like all heaters are 100% efficient because it's turning all of the electricity into waste heat. Well, what would be waste heat for any other device, which would in fact uh, impact its efficiency, but that's what a heater is supposed to do. So you can't be more efficient than 100% turning electricity into heat. They're just making this bizarre claim. And I see this ad all over the place. It, it's- oh, so the grammar was bad too, Rob, in that. What, Cass? 
It generates additional heat using cold fusion. They left that out. <laughs> they left that part out. <laughs> all right, so let's let's get back all those our five minutes are up. Give up energy in the form of sound. Yeah, I guess. All right, cast oh. hands up. Solar We've been we had lunch and we spent all that time trying to figure out what Caspian's uh thing was. Okay, <laughs> somebody disappeared. So who disappeared? Somebody, everybody look around, see if your teammates are here. Um Faith and Romero. Faith oh. and Romero disappeared? Yeah. No, they're right there. Where? There they are. Yeah, oh. there. Oh, there's oh, one. Of Romero's them. there. Oh, Romero's here. I think we lost Paula. No, Paula's no, here. Paula's right there. Yeah. She got that skeptical look. Oh, your picture's different. Okay. Yep, so who's there missing? Because somebody disappeared. Oh. Uh, we got Jane. We got Paula. Uh, where's Deborah? Is Deborah still with us? Um, I don't think see... Deborah. Deborah's I'm not seeing her. I, I knew it was one of my teammates. I just had the wrong teammate. Deborah's gone. <laughs> Deborah's gone? Deborah's gone. Deborah's gone. Okay, well, it's just, did you get our score, Susan? Did Deborah? I messaged Deborah because I had to step away. Okay, hold so. on. Yeah, she put four down. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'll speak uh, slowly. I'm just texting her. She'll be right back. Okay, so she can catch up. Deborah's. A, professional at this so <laughs> we went we went everything at dinner tonight everything caspian said led us to try to figure out that maybe he was talking about something that would be the category tonight so you know we went all over the place with stuff so if it's dune or or what else do we read street names i would for love a dune thing. category green beans mm -hmm. was it street names mm -hmm. for street names mm -hmm. yeah all right caspian <laughs> Put us out oh. of our misery. What is it? Tonight, it is a name your tune. What? Very similar to what Kevin did last week, which is what got me off my ass to do this because it had been on a, something that had been percolating for a few months in my mind and I'd done some work on it before. You are going to name that tune based on a percussive intro to the song. Nice. So every there are 15 options on the video in YouTube that I have just posted to the chat. I mm -hmm. hope that there are no ads to it. It indicated that there might be. I if so, I apologize. Um, I hope it's for the electric heater. I really need to read more about that. <laughs> but in any case, you get 15 options. There is a drum only part on each of these that leads into the song, usually about eight to 10 seconds long, and you need to guess the song based on nothing but the drums. Ooh. I almost did this. So this and is gonna be like what Kev, what, um, Basically Kevin it's what Kevin did with guitar riffs, but with drum intros. Nice. And Rip that, all the teams that Kevin's not on. In order to score this, just get all 15, as many as you can and score up to 10 correct answers and then take out five so deborah said that her battery on her laptop died and she's going to try to come back on okay. so i don't know if this would be her category so okay. and all of these are relatively well-known songs um i had to look around for a lot of ideas i had to throw away a lot of possibilities hopefully these aren't too difficult what are you calling this category? Drum intros. There's a guy who does videos called Professor of Rock, and he did a video like this, like his favorite top 10 mm. drum intros, which was really good. So, yeah. so wait, un unlike awesome. the last time we did this, when we had to pick 10, and actually would have a lot higher score if we did it the way I think you just said, we can write all 15 and if yeah, we get just 10, write right, down you get 10? Okay. everyone you know and score okay. up to 10 points. All right, great. All right, I'm so going to mute no, all. There's no bonus for going past 10. Yep. It's just I'm I don't think everybody's going to get all 15. So okay. Oh, it's not easy, huh? Three. I don't know. We're going to find out. Bump. Oh, we'll find out. You muted, Susan. 
So I wasn't actually going to play this or anything. I was just posted the link in the chat. You can go to the YouTube video. I figure the easiest thing is you just all go to your rooms and listen to it. It's only about okay. three minutes long. Oh, that's going to be really short intros for each of them. Oh, yeah. They're only about eight to 10 seconds long on average. Mm, damn. Okay. Play it and kids. The last thing I would ever buy them is a drum set. I what, drum set. What, what Liberty says in his book is when he was young, he should have been on ADHD medication, but his parents gave him the pots and pans and some spoons to hit to keep him. What, to were, like, were they deaf? They didn't have any the, neighbors. The they don't have he had so much energy. There's earplugs. Caspian mm -hmm. guy is 70 years old. Started. He's yeah. like 73 years old and he's like lean and rock hard muscle arms he All wails right. he's one of the hottest hitters there is so what is it that i bought you for for high school some drums i bought him a drum set <laughs> <laughs> i love the drums i think they're great i am not as good as any of these drummers well <laughs> yeah you are for your I, I mom meant, you uh, well I you're as good as whoever was on the 1936 one for sure I've got go. Caspian and Sterling on the screen together right next to each other. That's very nice. Okay. So let's go with the answers. Yeah. Number one, the drummer was Gene Krupa, whom oh, yeah, yeah, who was yeah. probably the first modern drummer. He pretty much invented the modern drum set. Yeah, heard of him. The song is Sing, Sing, Sing with a Swing. Oh, Sing, Sing, Sing. Oh, I knew it. This version was recorded by Benny Goodman. Yep. Okay. The song was originally by Louis Prima. Yeah. Okay, Caspian. Okay. Louis Prima. You heard, what I said in, you heard what I said in chat. Is this the theme song to uh, Nero Wolf? I what? haven't the slightest idea. <sighs> Just yeah. sing, sing, sing is sufficient, yes? Sing, no? sing, sing is sufficient, yes. Can you put everything in the chat, please? I will, yes. Okay. Number two is Honky Tonk Women. <laughs> Yay! Yay. Yay! Hey, we got at least one point. Yay! We'll have one. <laughs> Everybody get that one. Number three is Fireball by Deep Purple. Oh, Deep is, Purple. Fireball. Fireball. I didn't get that. <sighs> yeah, Number you thought it was Led Zeppelin. Is When the Levee Breaks by Led Zeppelin. Yes. Oh, that's the one you thought was Levee Breaks. Hey. I knew that my one. favorite. I knew that one. I have witnesses. That's the one Susan got. That's the first song I learned to fully play on the drums. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's why I know it so well. <laughs> that's why you know it. <laughs> we knew it was Led Zeppelin, but we couldn't get the name Sorry. right. Sorry. I think five. it's, isn't it the one that goes, ah? No, that's, oh, that's no, no. This no. is the one that Viking does Kitties. Little, that's that's the Viking Kitties. That's Viking Kitties. That's the immigrant song. Yeah. Yeah, they call it Viking Kitties. Have you seen the cartoon? Yeah. Very yeah. good. <laughs> Number yeah, five is the and Viking only boats. song in this list written by the drummer. It is Superstition by yes. Steve Wonder. Yes. Oh, you. You. you trusted me and we got it. Uh, very good. I didn't see it. Okay. <laughs> will you, will you, we got it though. Superstitious. Would that be close enough? <laughs> I think I'd accept it because I think most people would think that's the name of the song. Uh -huh. You know what the song is. Yep. Yeah, we have the, we have the song right. We could sing it. Very superstitious. Writing on the wall. Writing on the wall. Yeah, didn't Rob use that for a theme a little? Yeah, I did. That was the last slide of my presentation on the belief. Yeah. Yeah. When you believe in things that you don't understand, when that's right. That's that was it. That's the part I used. Uh, I was reluctant to use this because I honestly just straight up hate the name. We're an American band by hey, Grand Paula. Railroad. Oh, oh, we put American Woman. <laughs> Wrong song. Oh. Well, Kevin. Pretty sure American Woman American. doesn't start with drums. Well, Kevin, Kevin said. Yeah, I got it. I thought it was like my Americans mixed up. <laughs> Number seven is Take the Money and Run by the Star All right. Hey, Paula. All right. Number eight is Paula. Stargazer by Rainbow. Let's see. Oh my God! No I know the Rainbow <laughs> drummer. 
Oh, you're in trouble. Rainbow Drama is the Billy Joel You are in so much trouble. And this is being recorded. This is being recorded. Yeah. You're a horrible person. You're going to find out. Your friends are going to know now. Yeah, when it goes, you're gonna find out you screwed it up on the public record. Chuck Chuck Berge is Billy Joel's drummer. Used to play in Rainbow. <laughs> yes, but the drummer for this song was Cozy Powell. Yeah, because uh. there's like been like ten different drummers for Rainbow. Oh yeah, it's Richie Blackmore's personal project. Number nine is Exciter by Judas Priest. Hey Sterling, never heard it. Who Last had it? Fifteen seconds. I got that one. Ooh, nice. Well done. I, I thought it was screaming for vengeance, and then like wait a second, no, 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 that's older Judas Priest. And that's Exciter. Number ten is My Sharona by yes. The Knack. We got Everybody that. Got that came through. Woo-hoo. Number eleven, Y Y Z by Rush. Oh. Oh. What? Why? Why? I've Zed? never heard of. We put Low Rider. I believe it's the only instrumental on the list. Never heard of it. Ooh. Number 12 is Run to the Hills by Iron Maiden. Number 13 is Rosanna by yes. Toto. Oh, I, I knew it was like a soft rock. Oh, we needed this. Yep. Rosanna, Rosanna. Faith, Faith saved the day for us. Number 14 is Sunday Maybe Bloody Sunday, Sunday by ah. YouTube. Oh. I wrestled with this one. I oh. love that song. That was that was awesome. Is it in the name of like, love or Sunday Bloody Sunday? Songs <laughs> yeah. Sound exactly the same. You two I has like it. one song. Yeah, baby. And number fifteen is Hot for Teacher. Yes, I told you. I've seen this music video so many times. <laughs> yeah. I feel tardy. I I don't. Feel I don't tardy. feel tardy. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Boy, Van Halen. Yes, who's back? Oh, Caspian. Very good, Caspian. Really good. good video, too. And I like how you stopped and started and let us, like, think I'm going to do yeah, tambourines like next Putting the numbering. <laughs> no. <laughs> let's do, let's do accordion <laughs> solos by Wait, 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 Wait. <laughs> wow, Thank you. More cowbells. Thank you. Thank you, Vince, for writing the intro. video for us. He did I, all the I, audio for us. It was very patient. Top 10 bands of songs. Very good. I, I actually hang out with a lot of accordion players. So, Oh, uh, so this is uh, don't do that one. The Only because nobody else will. <laughs> <laughs> and they pay you. <laughs> very good. Very good. I, I, am, I swear the sing, sing, sing song is... Oh, that bugs me. Was that used yeah, in The I Mask? Remember, Do you know anybody know that? Instrumental. I didn't think of any the Jim Carrey movie, The Mask. Was that used in that? From what I understand, it's Could used be. all over the place. Yeah. You've probably heard it a hundred times in different formats, but yeah. I couldn't tell you what in specific, specifically it was used in. It seems to be the go one of the go-to jazz 30s songs to use yeah. in the mask. It's a go-to big band song. Yeah. Almost a cliche. Yes, very much. Never heard the name of it before, though. I have. I just wouldn't have recognized it by the name. Okay, so we're getting ready to do our our scores. (laughs) What, Hector? Okay, wait. Let me see if this. Hold on, I'm going to mute myself real quick. Do you want to come up here? We're going to fall behind on this one, I'm pretty darn sure, based on everybody else's reactions. Right. <laughs> this is one of our low scores, and we had 15 opportunities. So. Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> listen, I tough, want though. you to listen. I want you to stop speaking for a second, and I want to. I'm going to play this. Watch. Can you hear this? No. 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 Can you hear that? Nope. Okay, hold on. Maybe a clarinet, maybe. Sounds like a rusty gate. Oh, come on. Yeah. That's what I hear. A couple of squeaks. <laughs> okay, hold on. She's squeezing Are you doing a mouse with your cat? Together. Are you squeezing the cat? Listen. <laughs> That's not even vaguely similar. <laughs> Knock off. Yeah. That's, oh, come that's not on. Even close. I swear it was. I'll have to listen to your thing again now that I'm listening. Not even close. Not even going. <laughs> that's what my brain said. So I don't know. I mean, it is in the same genre, so you're not 
spoken like a loving son. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't hip hop. <laughs> 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 it wasn't. Uh, yeah, it wasn't. Okay, yeah, it's a time period plus or minus twenty years. Okay, here we go for the scores. I will select screen one and hopefully that will let me see this. Okay, so, all right, we are not a cult who keeps adding members now. <laughs> it has Robin next turn. How many points did you get on that? We got 10. We got 11, right? But we got only 10. Holy crap. Oh, wow. Wow. Nice. You're in the lead. Correct, El Mundo. You're in no, the no, lead. no one else gets points. Just stop, stop counting. Right? <laughs> stop the count. Stop the count. Stop the count. <laughs> Good Lord. Okay. Uh, the Earth is not flat, but it should be. Is the team that Caspian was on eight? That's reasonable. Ah. Okay, we're ah. still not in the lead. And uh, Washington's walloping, washing, warning, warning, meaning <laughs> nine. <laughs> Damn. Damn, that's right. Okay, so then that would mean this one: the foggy bottoms from Washington D.C. Five. <laughs> Five. Yeah. Sorry, we're not we're not drum nerds. We were demographically challenged. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Faith Romero, Carl, Robin, the Omicron. Six. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Awesome. That really moved these but moved some of these people up here. This one, this one, and this one. So you three teams went. Way up there, and you guys went kind of down. Even though, he, even though Carl said six with a happy six. <laughs> I'm so mad I missed American Band. Oh my god, Kevin, you're in. You're going to be fired. You're first off the island. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lucky this isn't Squid Game, Kevin. <laughs> oh, oh, ooh, you'd be gone. Dude. I cost my team two points so far. Thanks, Kevin. I'm off your team now. Hey, where's Ben? Ben, where are you? Oh, there you are. Yeah, we're gonna kick you off. You guys keep uh -oh. moving Pretty around on my screen. Okay. I, think I haven't gone anywhere. Ben, did you make a category that Susan can excel in? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> and and no, so I, will, I will. Uh, <laughs> I will warn you ahead of time that uh, hopefully no one gets offended because. Uh, oh. Good. My my category is inappropriate ads. Oh, good! Demolish it. <laughs> Hopefully, everyone gets a good uh, good chuckle out of this. Uh, no kids here. Okay. No kids. We should be. We, like, we like inappropriate. So I'm going to nope. give you a now, line from now. When Susan posts this, you know the YouTube upload always asks, "Is this made for kids?" Are yeah. you doing video <laughs> or what are you doing? Um, there will be a couple videos, but it's mostly just going to be you know ads that sound like take, they could be something dirty it? but you what I, should i pause the recording am i going to get like copyright slaps or am i no, is it okay i don't think so okay no, ads, let me know when i should pause ads want to be promoted That's ads exactly. want to be seen exactly. yeah. maybe not videos yeah and might gonna be, be monetized gonna be but... from like you know all it's not going to be you know necessarily recent stuff it's going to be from you know the past. There's no Beatles melodies. <laughs> no, <laughs> everything's uh, everything's from, from the past. Okay, couple decades, me. I guess. <laughs> Aha, Kevin. Yeah. That was profound, Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Otherwise, you have to pull it from the future. Okay. Next category: future trivia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. You tell me the answers. Oh, I like that. One. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got Kyle, 10. go for it. I got All 10. right, Kyle. Muting now. He did question. He doesn't even count to three anymore. <laughs> yes, I'm unmuting. You can hear me now, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Question one. Is it in you? <laughs> so you will be coming up with the company or product name for what I am giving you. Is it in you? Yes. Oh God. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. Uh, some, of, some, of, some of them I'm going to give you some multiple choice because I'm trying not to be too terribly mean. I can number see three, some answer, creative, I'm creative saying, answers coming up for number one. Yeah. Every answer I'm thinking, that's what she said. <laughs> yeah. Number two, reach out and touch someone. Ooh. 
number three, nothing sucks like in. <laughs> I have the dot dot dots because the name is part of the right thing. So you guys can figure that out. All right. Now we get to the good stuff. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Enjoy this category a little too much. Sitting on faces since 2001. <laughs> so this one, you have some multiple choice here. You have oh. A, Lens Crafters, B, Sunglass Hut, C, Oakley, or D, Sunglass Shack. Are you making these up? <laughs> Maybe. No. You'll, you'll, you'll see proof. You'll see proof. Like I said, inappropriate ads. All right, number five. It's so big, you've got to grin to get it in. <laughs> Multiple choice again. Uh, A, Big League Chew. B, Wagon Wheels. C, Burger King. Or D, Dentec. Uh, Number six. If it doesn't get all over the place, it doesn't belong in your face. A, Texas Roadhouse. B, Maybelline. C, Carl's Jr. Or D, Buffalo Wild Wings. Number seven, the more you play with it, the harder it gets. A, Play-Doh, B, Nintendo, C, Rose Art, or D, Sega. Number eight, when it fits, you feel it. A, J.C. Penny, B, Macy's, C, Zales, or D, Tiffany and Company. It's almost like these companies are trying to use sex to sell products. What? No, they would never think of that. I they just no want to become a future category written by Ben Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine, the longer lasting pleasure. A, Trojan, B, haagen C, Stride, or D, Energizer? Number 10. So not only do they use sex, but you know, they also want to be misogynist. It's not for women. A, Dr. Squatch, B, Mac Weldon, C, Dr. Pepper, or D, Cabela. All right. Okay. And because oh. I'm being nice, I will give you guys a bonus. Cheat on your girlfriend, not on your workout. A, Peloton, B, Nike, C, Gold's Gym, or D, Reebok. Wow. Oh. And again, uh, total possible points of 10, but you get a bonus. So in case you miss one of the others. All right. That's very good. Wow. Very clever. <laughs> Again, I apologize, but you know, I, I, I figured we could all have a little fun with this. So anybody have any questions before I send you guys to your rooms? What was your, what was your sort of inspiration here? <laughs> I can't even imagine. Well, what it was like my previous category was just slogans. And in doing research for that, I kept coming across the oh. inappropriate one. And I was like, do I want to do an inappropriate one? I went back and forth because I'm like, eh, you know, I didn't want to like cross a line or wait, offend people. You but. didn't think inappropriate ads would probably be appropriate for this group? Well, I, I you know, you never know. Come on, you Ben, know. you've been playing about a year already. Exactly. Hey, so. One, one quick question. Sure. For the first three, are we looking 
only for the company name or also the pro or the product name? Um, in in most instance, instances, it's going to be kind of one and the same. Okay. Product name and uh, company name, but uh, I would say that's probably. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to say too much and give stuff away. How about if we list either? Yeah, then you know we know what we're talking about. I would accept that. Okay, there you go. Yeah. All right. Good job. All right. You guys ready? Okay, Ben. Send us right. sure. These are great. Damn! I can't believe I missed the delivery on this. I was busy skinning a pumpkin. Oh no! <laughs> he really was skinning a pumpkin. Oh, I got to go to my room. There we go. Oh, I'm in the gumby <laughs> stuff. Okay, very good. Okay, so is it in you? So that's right? Gatorade. It, was it Gatorade, right? Gatorade. Yeah. I don't recognize it. T Reach out and touch them some was 18 to your bell. I think it might have been Bell still when that came out. Was that's it? an old bag. I think it was AT and T. I think it was AT and T also. Yeah, but they remember that for Bell. It used, be, it used to be Bell, right? Before it got split up. So I'm going to count either one of those because it's the same thing. Even yeah. though Ben's watching us right now, to hearing us say, yeah. <laughs> but I think it is AT and T. <laughs> uh, nothing sucks like, like a Uber. Because I remember, I remember <laughs> laughing the first time I heard that. It's Electrolux. I know it's Electrolux. Oh, I thought it was a Hoover. Yeah, me, that, that's what I wrote down, but I was thinking it was something that else. Nothing sucks like an Electrolux. Yeah, that makes sense. It kind of rhymes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sitting on faces. Wow, what is it was that? A, it was some kind of sunglasses. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, but which it, one? I know, right? It was. Let's see, where did the, where did the things go? Not that. Um, do, 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 do sunglass hut. I, I think, think it's. It, it's either Sunglass Hut or Sunglass Shack, I think. I don't think it's lens crafters, right? I don't, I don't either. Because but... it's because that's a place where well, you know, I've seen faces since. Don't you think it's Oakley? Because it sounds like that's the brand. Well, that, it, it seems like Oakley's older than that, and they don't really do ads. Well, like the others are. If I was with some one of the newer ones, I can't see the listing. What were the listings? I would think lens crafters is older than that, so yeah, it can't lens be that. Crafters, sunglass hut. Or Sunglass Shack or Oakley? I vote for Sunglass Hut. Does anyone know about Sunglass Shack? Because Sunglass Hut, I that. think, is older than 2001, too. Have you heard of a Sunglass Shack? Because I've never heard of it. But there was That's why I'm wondering, because the other ones I've, I know I've seen in the malls. Yeah, they've been in the malls. 2001. Right. I, I want to vote for Sunglass Shack just because the other ones I think don't, don't okay. count, but with the 2001. But would a business say that? I could say a glasses brand, but a business sitting on faces? Well, if they're new and they're trying to make a, make a name for themselves, they might do that. Yeah, I, I think I've even heard that ad. I don't, I don't remember where, but. Um, we'll go back. I vote for Shaq right now, just because yeah, I don't think the other one's qualified. I'm sorry. Dane said Hut, didn't you? Yeah. I I would go with Hut before Shack because I don't think I've ever. But uh, Hut's Shack. older than two thousand one. But there was a Sunglass Hut, right? Sunglass there Hut is, is older one. than two thousand one, is what I'm saying. Oh, I see. Oh, I see what you're saying. <clears throat> you got a grin to get in. Does anyone know five? It seems I don't know what a wagon wheel is. I don't is either. Penny? Or Dentech, either I've heard of it, but I didn't know what it was. It's what is to... what was the what was the phrase again? It's so big you've got to grin to get it in. I'm glad I'm recording this, Deborah. <laughs> <laughs> Blackmail. Um, then, I don't think it's Burger King because I think we'd remember that. Yeah, it's probably Big League too. Maybe because it is kind of a pieces are pretty big. Yeah, I don't. I I I don't know. I, I'm one. fine with that. Okay. Since the I think next it's Carl's Junior. It, it's definitely Carl's Junior. You yeah. remember that ad with the guy on the yeah. side of the road, <laughs> and he's like dripping burger all over his face and everything. Oh, I sort of remember that now. Yeah, and it's dripping. You know, it's like yeah. yeah. It certainly is a Maybelline. Can you imagine? 
<laughs> for some people, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but you don't do it on purpose. And I'm sure the wild wings are just as messy, but the, the ad was for burgers, for sure. I'm pretty sure you're right. Yeah. More of the play you play with pirate cats. Yeah, Play-Doh. It's not Play-Doh. No, I mean, that I does happen because is. it dries out. Well, what's rose art? Well, that's not something you brag about, though. No, that's that's a out. that's kids' art supplies and girls and stuff. I that I'm sure it doesn't apply to that. Hmm. Um, well, Nintendo or Sega? Sega. They both, they both, you know, video games always get harder the longer you play them because that's they just, they're designed that way. I have no idea. No, I don't either. Jane. I want to go back to that one. All right. Well, we narrowed it down to one or two. Eight, I think, is J.C. Penny. When it fits, you feel it. No, I, I've never seen that. You never. I think, really it's, that? I think it's sales. You know J.C. Penny. I think it's sales too. Sales or Tiffany, so I think it's sales. Yeah, because it's Zales? like for rings and stuff, right? Yeah, I don't think yeah. it's pennies. I would have. I would have. I mean, you lived in pennies. Yeah, I was there thirty-four years. I think I would remember that. <laughs> and I don't. I don't think i've ever seen a macy's ad like that like you know i don't see that many ads for anything really <laughs> really really good ben yeah you have all the answers you're getting there right. how are you guys doing i'm just trying to gauge oh we're on we're nine are. we're on nine okay. the longer lasting i think it's trojan yeah i think it's a condom it's it's not not really nice. in front of me what's stride I've heard of stride right, but those are like shoes for little kids. <laughs> <laughs> what would lasting option? pleasure? Well, what would I, I will let you guys know because I let another team know that uh, on a previous question, Rose Art is like an art product supply for kids. Company. Yeah, yeah, you see, oh, you'll see the for target. Anybody. It's for little girls. It's all like pretty colors and markers and stuff like that. Okay. okay um number nine we agree it's Trojan. what were the no what were the options for nine i can't see them hagen das energizer and stride stride right no just stride so i don't know what that is we don't know okay, that there was only one condom listed right right I think, I think unless so. stride is a condom and i'd have never heard no of it. i don't think so <laughs> i'll go with trojan you go with the trojan <laughs> yeah I've never that endorsement. I got that, <laughs> <laughs> this one right here, it's not for women. I I don't know. It's not Dr. Pepper. Why don't you think it's Dr. Pepper? Because I thought that that was the thing they were trying to market a diet drink for guys. About Cabela's. What is that? I don't know what that is. It's a catalog. It's got, it's like a sports a store. Like, like, yeah, like hunting and fishing and clothes and all that stuff outdoors okay. the, the reason i think it's dr pepper because they were trying to do a low calorie drink but they wanted to market it to guys jane what were you saying that you keep cutting out on you audio i'm saying cabela's because it's a you know camping hunting fishing well i resent that <laughs> what's doc it's weldon I have no uh, Mac Weldon. What's Doctor Squatch? <laughs> they they sell men men's uh, like high end, pretty smelling soap. Oh, if you're on YouTube, you can't get away from their ads. But I've never heard them say this phrase. So Doctor Squatch and Cabela's are both men's kind of product things. Yeah. Well, I'd go with Cabela's before I'd go with the others. I think I don't know. We used to have a Cabela's catalog. There's all kinds of stuff in there. Well, you would like it, but you're not a normal person, Deborah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Of course you'd like it because it was a, yeah. 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 This is, I'm just a guest here. So whatever you guys want. Okay. I think if, if Dr. Squatch is like a, um, like a men's toiletry thing. Yeah. I've never heard them use this phraseology though. Do we know what Mac Weldon all the time. Do we know what Mac Weldon is? Mm -mm. No. Never, but I've never heard of it. Hmm. <clears throat> well, I don't think it's Dr. Pepper because I don't think they would 
you know, limit no. something like that. You no. know, I mean, not that it would work. I mean, if you like Dr. Pepper, you like Dr. Pepper, but well, it obviously failed as an ad. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's the first one because that's a doctor. And yeah, doctor. then he said to himself, Oh, I got to come up with another name. And he came up with Dr. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's got to come up with three fake ones. I could see where toiletries for men could be. Yeah, it's just to make it more masculine, you know, to make it seem more masculine. I see those ads. I'm just going to say it's not Dr. Squatch. Oh, okay. I know it's not Dr. Squatch. Okay, go with, go with, (laughs) wait, Dr. Mac, Mac Weldon? Mac Weldon, yeah. Okay. I've I've never heard of that. No idea. Um, okay, well, the maybe last that's one. why we've never heard of it because we're all women, <laughs> <laughs> and so if it, that that part of it did work. The first thing I was thinking of: there's a chocolate bar in the UK called the Yorkie Bar. It says "Not for Girls," and it's got a, a picture <laughs> of you know the this traditional woman shape that you see on uh, bathrooms with the circle and a line through it. Oh yeah, and that's on the candy bar. Of course, bar? We bought those because they were really they were really just big large chocolate candy bars. But that's not on the option. It was, but it says not for girls. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so the last one, the bonus. Oh well, what, what did we decide to say for ten? Peloton. You think it's Peloton? Yeah, I think you might be right. I think I might have heard this ad actually. I don't think that's a very nice thing to say but i don't what cheat on your girlfriend, girlfriend not your work out. Out? yeah well and peloton's not a strictly you know well i guess girlfriends aren't a strictly guy thing either so <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> so what are we missing well what did we say for nine or for ten are we going to go with what are we going with Dr. Squatch? No. Uh, Mac Weldon? Is that it? I don't even know what Mac Weldon is. I don't either. I never heard well, of it. Well, it's not Dr. Pepper. And why did you think it's not Dr. Squatch? Because you've never heard it? Yeah, I, I've seen all their commercials. They play over and over and over on YouTube. They have women in the ads smelling it, and women do use some of the products. So... Okay, well, nice. they don't market it as men only. Even though Cabela's does Even Harry so razors markets to women now. Things, um, I think they're they are um, I don't think they're trying to hit a gender in their in their ads though. So I think I'm gonna call people back because that still gives them one more minute. Um, but I should do it from the main room, Susan, right? Yeah. Okay. Are you guys done? Almost. We're arguing on like a couple. Okay. All right. Okay. So what do you guys think for number 10? Jane was trying to say something about Capella's. Well, I just think that they're, you know, um, more of a men's draw than they are women i don't think women say oh let's go to cabela's today and see check it out right i i just don't know that they would say that i would think maybe their customers would say that but i don't know if they do that one because we we've made an argument for all the others it's probably gonna end up being dr pepper (laughs) (laughs) probably all right Okay. okay so which one do we not have an answer for Um, what do we say for seven? Do we go with Zales or do we, or wait, sorry. I think it's, um, do I we think go with, with, which, which thing we, did we go to? Lido, Nintendo, Rosart, or Sega? I think it's either Nintendo or Sega. Yeah, I just don't know which one. Sega? Sure, let's do Sega. Paula, you're right with that? I, I have no idea on that one. What else did are we missing? And what did we say for the what if it when it fits you feel it? Are we doing Zales? Zales. Zales? Okay. And then um, Trojans. Okay, good. And then the um, bonus Peloton. 
Right. Okay. 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 Well, All good right. job, you guys. We'll see. That was yeah. that was interesting. Good luck. I hope good the luck. number one. I hope the team with the most points gets nothing on this. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they might. Teacher, I'm having. And it's going to freak me out if I'm awake in the Sorry, operation. I just made all that up. I just made all that up. Never mind. No, I know it does happen, but I've never been under like. I mean, it's a tiny percent of people, but that's like creepy. I never knew about this. Well, I will let you know if I'm one of those people yeah, okay. about a horror of this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are we talking about? I'm having surgery yeah. next week, so oh. we're talking about that. Yeah. Let's not that talk about fun, it anymore. Ben. Or freak face you will be fine, Faith. Else? The anesthesia will work perfectly as it does, and you will be healthy. I know I will be fine. The person who's doing my procedures, the head of the program at Duke, sure. and it'll be great. I'm just, I, I, if, if if we have a surge, I'm gonna go kill somebody because <laughs> since the day before Thanksgiving, I have been on a super low carb keto diet, like 800 calories max a day. Oh. and yeah. Yeah, so I will kill. <laughs> You're not in any. Taking mood, your ventilator then. and taking your bed. I'm having my Faith, surgery. Faith, if you if you if you die, can you come back and haunt us? Yes, but don't say that. I'm not going to die. Well, I don't I even know. Fine. Talk about. Oh, you're it. Just I just can't have a nice like, like, rest. My odds of dying in this procedure are much less from somebody having their gallbladder taken out. Okay. So. Good job. Oh, this was excellent. fun. Yeah. Go. Are I'm you ready? ready? Yeah. I didn't want to. I've heard anything. several people who've had their gallbladder out. They didn't die. So mm -hmm. everyone I know who had their gallbladder out didn't die. Oh, That's check right. it out! Look who's here. here, Susan. I've still got privileges. I don't want them. I'll let Leonard in. <laughs> Leonard, <laughs> Leonard. Hey. Leonard's, Leonard's in time for the bonus. Leonard, you're just in oh. time. Leonard's missed, in time for the bonus. Leonard, you missed all the fun. Seriously, you can see the I, answers I, to inappropriate ads. I I could use some uh, use some fun. I just got some really bad news. Oh, oh. do we want to know? Uh, Should I return someone... the? <laughs> yeah. We're gonna hear some uh, inappropriate ads. So um, this is the answers. Right. We already did the category. This is the, yes. we're going to the answers now. Question is it in one. you? Is it in you? Yes. Gatorade. 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 Uh, yeah. Most people had that one. Nope, not us. No, oh, okay. that's the one well, you yeah, have. They, they've had that as their slogan for quite. A no, while. now that I, I see think. it, I don't it know makes if it's current, sense. but they had it for a while. And they had to highlight it. Yes, exactly. Because <laughs> they didn't know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right. Question two: Reach out and touch someone. Uh, pretty sure most people got this one right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now, yeah. because of AT and T and and being split up and all that, if people had one of the bells, uh, you know, um, uh, as an answer, then I'm okay with that as well, as long as it's okay. A, something that was a part of AT and T. You should have had a trigger because warning here. I'm still pissed at them for reaching out, and touching me for seventy dollars for a call <laughs> to Canada. <laughs> Which I didn't know was a long distance call. You guys got to listen to the yeah. beginning of the recording to understand what Rob is talking about. So go ahead. They, they reached out and touched you, Rob. Yeah, I did. That's just touching wallet. you for seventy bucks. That's mean. They used to call and want us to sign up for their, you know, long distance service, and they do it like every week or so. And I'd say, listen, I, what I want you to do is never call me again. And, and they finally stopped calling. <laughs> <laughs> we went out of business. Well, that, that, they, that was later. It was because I told them that, though. Oh, that's why they went out of business. That's Question right. Three. Nothing sucks like and. Oh, oh no. yes! Yay! Yes! 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 Right. Oh, shit! Thank you, Janine. You knew her sucking. Was it made in <laughs> Illinois? We have an Electrolux. <laughs> Looks like a tube of toothpaste with you. Yeah, I was just going to say, it's yeah. like toothpaste. <laughs> and I like how on the vehicle, it has an alternate <laughs> spelling. They're oh using the K there. Oh, weird. Yeah. Do you notice that? But yet, that the text weird. around it is that spelled was, with the C. That yet. was yeezy. So that must have been oldie. how they used to spell the company yeah. name back Or they the like day. the way it looks. Because it's nice that Great K. googly moogly. So, and is that vehicle like supposed to be like the canister? 
of the, yeah. the machine. It's like the Wiener Mobile, the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. Yeah. It's the Vacuum Mobile. The Suck Mobile. All right. Question four. Sitting on faces since 2001. Uh, Sunglass shag. Yeah, 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 all right. Oh, I was no. worried. I think I saw some people going for Was that B or D? Place. Was that B or D? D, D as in dog. D. He is uh, a dog. Yeah, the, we chose the wrong one. Oh, I don't remember this at all. Yeah, well, this is. We chose Jack, so we got the point. <laughs> I think there's a yes. few stores in Virginia. So, but I mean, come on, you can't go wrong with that logo, right? <laughs> they used to be in the malls. They used to have them in the malls, little small ones in the malls. No, those were the huts. Those were sunglasses. Oh, okay. That's why I've never heard of Sunglass Shack. Neither have I. Yeah, I think Sunglass Hut is only bigger, 20 years old, the bigger, Rob. It's uh, one of the B-52's lesser known songs. Yes. <laughs> Question five. Love Shack. It's so big, you've got a friend to get it in is Wagon Wheel. No. What is a Wagon Never Wheel? Heard of those. What, what is are it? They? Knock off Moon Pies. Very oh. good. Carl remember yeah. that one. Never heard of it. Never ever heard Actually, of it. Actually, if you want, uh, I've never, I've never seen. I have it anymore. I had a, I had a you link to a YouTube video for their. No, that's all right. It's a candy, like it's a. It's a candy. Pastry. Yeah, and they used to be like pastry. Pastry. They used to be. Uh, what's it? Like, kind of, yeah, it's like a chocolate ding. with like a marshmallowy center. Yeah. Okay. Moon pie. Uh, moon pie. Like moon really pies. big. Yeah, kind of like moon pies. Pie. They're not sold in the U.S. apparently. <laughs> In Commonwealth countries, you can order it on Amazon. Mm -hmm. uh, question: I'm, six. I'm ordering right now. Yeah. yeah. If it doesn't get all over the place, it doesn't belong in your oh, state. <laughs> we got a video. Kyle's Jr. Hey, hey, this is the guy Seth from Green. Uh, Seth. Seth Green. Yeah. I remember yeah. that. He's my boss. <laughs> hey, there's Leonard Dean Boy. What? It is. Yeah. Sure. Um, question seven the more you play with it the harder it gets i heard some debate about this as to what it was going to be the answer is sega people talking themselves out of the game companies Oh, come on. Look at that cartoon. Oh, my God. This is. It's, it's, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm wow. embarrassed. With his joystick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, we can just move on to the next question. Wow. I completely yeah. called it a controller. We've become, we have I become have pruder. Worked. We have become I, pruder. I very, very I much remember I have a line showing how much I, movement. I, I hope this is bringing right you now. some joy, Leonard. Oh, I, I, I definitely remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> just read that paragraph down there. Yeah, I don't want to read that. <laughs> You're shooting all over the place. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. You're breathing your nod. Hey, You're breathing. Uh, just so you guys hey. know, there may have been some ones that were even wronger than the ones that I chose. But I obviously <laughs> go, I'm not going to cross that line. So I'm going to, you know, go for the that's next one. week's category. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's even more two. inappropriate. Maybe after dark. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Question eight, when it fits, you feel it, was? Yes. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. No. Susan, did you get that one wrong? We no. expected you to no. get it, Susan. 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 Susan got I've that never wrong? Seen what? That ad. We are yeah, literally at a JCPenney today, too. Yeah, I've never seen that ad. I don't know if it's current or if it has been retired yet. Well, I've but been it's around 34 recent. years at Penny's. And I it looks recent because their um, email uh, or URLs changed. So what right. did you put in your group, Susan? Zales. Yeah, so do we. That's what I, I thought agree. it was. Okay, number nine, the longer lasting pleasure. Yeah. Ice cream. Oh, Seriously. Oh. Hagen does. <laughs> no way. Seriously. go too long. Oh no. No, no, it's not Hagadas. It's Trojan. It's a fake ad. It's a fake ad. 
How is that possible? Who does but that? They're going to be a Trojan cream. condom inside the ice cream that she <laughs> unveils. <laughs> That's the the ice cream the center of the of the Hagen Dazs. It's going to be a milkshake by the time she finishes it. Yeah, package yeah. deal. Hagen Dazs isn't even a real word. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> remember frozen? Do you remember frozen glaja? Yeah. 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 They were trying to like take off on the fake European so sounding name of that was a category I was considering fake words, and I could only come up with a few. <laughs> so you take the Hagen so put it in the that's Trojan, two more stick it I in the didn't freezer. Have. Hard it gets harder the longer you wait. Mm. It's hard. Oh, I, hard when when doing right. the multiple it's, choice, I wanted to give people some answers that would go better with the inappropriateness yeah. like, these are tame they just have really bad inappropriate so boring. so um, no one sh whoever comes here should ever accept any of the pop schools that my mom gives you <laughs> <laughs> don't want to know how they're made oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's what we're having for dinner tonight oh question 10 it's not for women you can't have it i'm sorry it is Dr. Pepper. Oh, oh really? Dr. Pepper. Oh, Dr. Pepper oh, 10. Hell? Why would they do that? Well, you didn't say Dr. Pepper 10. You said just Dr. Pepper. No. But why would they do that? I know, right? That's bizarre. Yeah. I agree. That's, That's the first one we ruled out. Soda. They they the first one we ruled out. Put out by Coke. And I, I thought really that if it, if it was Dr. Pepper, it would have to be really old because I never would have heard of it. And it's not. So I've I was never heard of this. Yeah, it's just bizarre. Yeah. Let's exclude half the population for no good reason from right? buying this drink. Well, no, they wanted yeah. they wanted to promote a because they were afraid men don't drink diet soda because they're afraid it's too womanly. So they wanted it's a. It's not diet men. though. It is. Well, it's it's like, Dr. Pepper it's, said. It's ten calories. Ten calories. Only, only ten calories. Ten calories. Then, but the answer was Dr. Pepper. Yeah, but it's 10 yeah. calorie Dr. Pepper. That's, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a 10 calorie version of Dr. Pepper. I feel like this was a, not a good question because you should have said Dr. Pepper 10, not just Dr. Oh, okay. Pepper. No, oh. I, I, I understand that. I mean, did a lot, a lot of people not choose Dr. Pepper because I didn't put 10 no. on Anybody get it no. right? That's not why. No. No. It doesn't affect the score unless, I mean, no. unless somebody got it right. I just. I was going to say, if it was a big confusing issue for people, then we can, you know. No, it doesn't matter because no one got it right anyway. I think we, I think I might have gotten it. If we got all women get a point for that one. Uh, <laughs> I just don't know why the marketing team wouldn't have added the word "just." It's not just for women. Why wouldn't right. that have been just as effective and not piss yeah. off women? I don't get exactly. it. They wanted men to buy it. Women will already and drink. Then they it. would. They, and then they would anger people. Be like, oh, so we all have to drink diet? Then we can't drink regular if we want to. Uh, Rob, I, I think the, the the simple idea is times have changed. Oh, yeah, probably. Also, there is a reason they want to be a controversy. They want to be a controversy. You no longer see Dr. Pepper 10 in the stores. It didn't last very long. I never no, it's still out it. there. It wasn't one of those longer lasting pleasures? No, it's still, you can no, still buy no. Dr. Pepper 10. I've Dr. never heard of Dr. Pepper 10. Oh, you can't. Always for no, it. you can't, Faith. I will <laughs> the men of not for you. For both. other reasons, I can't have Dr. Pepper 10. Oh, all right. Bonus. All right, What's the bonus? Bonus Sterling? question. Cheat on your girlfriend, not on your workout. That's amazing. It is. Oh, no. Five. Seriously. Oh, I'm burning amazing. all my Reebok stuff. Wow. Yeah. Holy wow. crap. Those bastards. I, I didn't want to be too evil, but I was like, eh. Wow. I'll, I'll put I'll put gym answers in there, and people think since it's workout related. Yeah, and, you got us there. Yeah, I said, no, no sneaker company would be that stupid, right? Exactly. Like, seriously, they have the same ad writer as the um, as the uh, as the Dr. Dr. Pepper people. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Mm. Did, did women immediately you know, stop buying Reeboks? Had terrible marketing departments at some point. Yeah. Right. I seem to remember not doing very well on your other categories. <laughs> <laughs> well, it made our, it made made us talk about it. Yeah. Maybe That's they were marketing to lesbians. I can't complain about that. <laughs> I can't right. I can't believe Ben didn't do the best commercial ever. Yes. Okay. Oh, go go on. Are we gonna get it? Second. No. Oh. Shit my pants. Oh, yeah. Right here. <laughs> was that really their commercial? What were they thinking? It was a web. 
No, that was hilarious. I, that's a that was a great. That was a good yard. commercial. I've never yeah. seen that. <laughs> so the, I mean, we haven't done scores yet, but when I initially did this category, I did not have multiple choice. So I'm assuming the multiple choice was definitely appreciated. Oh, oh thank you. Yes. Would have been a lot harder if I. Had yes. Been. Okay. Yeah, but it was still stupid hard. <laughs> well, I'm glad I did multiple choice. So all right, I'm gonna put I'm gonna paste the answers here. I mean, you guys saw them. I'm gonna paste. Okay. Them. Here we go. So let's I'm see. Sure, got all that. Um, tied for last place is the Earth is not flat, but it should be. Or quietly said, very brave woman there, Janine, who said four, not mm -hmm. knowing how badly everybody else is doing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the foggy bottoms from Washington D.C., which I should mention, how was my team Ben's do? group. Uh, six, I think. Ooh. Hey, yeah. not bad. I'm Good shocked. Job, okay, so Washington's walloping, washing, warning, waning. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> wah, wah. Whoa, look Sorry, at the guys. foggy bottoms are taking over. Okay, no. so <laughs> we are on a bolt. We had seven. Oh, oh, impressive. They're in the lead. So, boy, look at that. They had a two earlier. So let's see. They're doing good. Okay, so Omicron from Mutacron is responsible for QAnon. Seven. Oh, 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 dear. Okay. That's one of those okay. teams that I just. So, highest was seven. Yeah. All right. Seven, seven, six, four, and three. Okay, so here goes our last, but not least. We got one more inappropriate ad. I put the incestuous Folgers coffee ad. I put a link to that in the, in the <laughs> okay. chat. It's a, it's, a, it's a Folgers coffee ad that has a brother and sister in it. Oh. We're like, oh, those, that's brother and sister are way too into each other. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you put the link in there? I put the link in the oh, chat. Oh, I already have well, this. The... Mike, is this the actual, the real commercial? That's the oh, actual one, yeah. Because is that the one I, where the brother comes home from Africa? Somebody, yeah. Where they parodied yeah. the commercial and they actually had the brother and sister loved each other and the parents were trying <laughs> to keep them away. I think it was- That sounds like a Saturday Night, Night Live sketch. But they put the actual one. Okay, it I got out. it. I'll look at it later. Interesting trivia. The, the, the sister, the girl in this, she's the daughter of- um, that creepy guy from those H.P. Lovecraft movies, oh. Jeffrey. Uh, um, oh, well, I'll look up his name in here. Let's go on with the next category. Okay. So that's you, Kyle. Next category is the bonus, where we keep it kind of simple. Top 15 countries with the most pet <laughs> bird population. <laughs> I, I didn't Not hear that past the sneeze. What was that? The top 15 countries with the most bird, most pet bird population. Oh. <laughs> According to mapsoftheworld.com, I've actually got the top 20. Pick any 10. If you're 10 or in the 15, you get a point for each. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Look at birds. <laughs> okay. Most what? pet bird. So, wait, so this is, is this per capita or this is total number? Number of birds number of okay birds. these are pet birds not just wild birds most, most specifically pet yes okay oh, Jeffrey Combs, yes. all right you guys famous star trek actor including chickens how about dinosaurs oh hmm. uh i believe chickens well, if it's a pet chicken not for a... pets yes not for industry pet okay. birds you're not eating them all right uh, i gotta put leonard on a team which team is leonard going on Who's, who's in, in the lowest we floor? should take Leonard because he's a bird watcher and I think and we're in last place. No. Wait, last place. Look at the again. Hold on. Finishing up what I'm doing here on Facebook. Putting can we please of... can we please take Leonard? The earth, oh, the, earth is, nice? the earth is not the earth is yeah. not flat, is in last place. Okay, let's see. I'm, I'm yeah, they are. The, they are in the worst place. But you guys got a ton of people on your team. Leonard would agree with the team name. <laughs> All right, I'll put Leonard over there. We argue too much. 
Okay, Leonard, I'll put you on that team. I'll I'll go wherever you send me, Susan. Yeah, I guess you will, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's the way it works. Okay, see you in a few minutes. Hmm. Okay, so the I'm first thing in. the first thing that I would say to this is that I think we're going to have a lot of Asian countries in this. Um, there's a, uh, I know that in Singapore, uh, they bring their pet birds in their cages to the park on Saturday to have singing competitions. Oh, mm -hmm. so Singapore. Yeah, but Singapore isn't big enough to be on the top 15. It's not big enough. It, it's, but it is that's true. Asian. When I went to um, Hong Kong, they were, oh my gosh, yeah, birds were a big thing. Birds, I think China is number one. So China is definitely one. number one. I think the USA is going to be on the list. You yep. think I wouldn't even yeah. think the it's, USA. Well, it's top 20 is, it, it only has to be on the top 20. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought you said 15. Would, would someone it's like 15. to read, would someone like to read their list? And then once we get to 10, we can always add to it or take off or something. Carl with no internet entered the waiting room. <laughs> what is that? Is that Carl with a K? <clears throat> okay, yeah, you, you did, he Kyle did put top 15 countries with the most pet bird population, but I thought he also said that um, he said he had a list of 20, mm -hmm. but my thought, understanding thought, is he's looking yeah. for the top 15. So I'm looking at the countries that I know where, where okay. keeping a caged bird is a very popular cultural okay. thing to do. I'm ready to write. Also in, in South and Central America, it's very popular. I would I would start with Brazil for South America because Brazil it's so I have USA and Brazil is number one. China, okay. China, USA, Brazil, China, Hong Kong, Indonesia. I put Indonesia and Singapore. Hong Kong should not be separate from China. Wait, it depends. <laughs> okay, Let's it's not big door. enough. It's not big enough. Yeah, Hong Kong's well. There's. It, okay, why it's also we, now part of China, so why yeah. don't we name a whole bunch and then talk about it? Okay, Karen is, is a list. Sterling, Karen Brazil, is I would say Venezuela, Peru. Okay, hold on, Venezuela, Peru. They're they're probably actually, actually Peru, all their, probably, all probably not pets. Colombia, probably <laughs> Colombia. Colombia is better. Even Panama, Panama might be. How about Mexico? Japan? Panama. I don't. Japan, I I don't think that's... South Korea. Could be, could be. How about, how about Mexico? My Mexico, my list is so different from your list, whoever's giving What do you, what do you have? I have USA, Brazil, Spain, Portugal, France, Australia, Sweden, Denmark, and New Zealand. Sweden I don't- have too small of a population. Same with Australia and Denmark, I think. I think they're just too small of a population. Okay, to cut out I, yeah, Denmark. I don't think Australia and New Zealand and I, I don't think any of the European countries really compete oh, for the birds number. Birds are all over the place in Spain and Portugal. Cage birds. Hmm. I don't know. Well, it could be. The, the problem is also, it's not per capita, though. It's it's. We it's, have to think about sizable populations too, you right. guys. Yeah. Spain would have a pop. It would have a big enough population for sure. I I think I'm definitely not down with Spain. They, I'm good with Spain. Really sizable. Spain. Australia. Okay. I'm also thinking. Places that have um, better, uh, um, what's it called? There's less space per person. New Zealand, oh, less space per person. Yeah, because that if you if you if you're living in a small apartment or something like that, then you're not going to have space for a cat or a dog as easily as you would for. So a UK, UK, Germany. I don't think the European countries. I think it's all going to be Asian countries. No, they eat them. They don't have pets. <laughs> well, Asian Indonesia has a ton of pets. people. Malaysia has a lot of people. Singapore. Indonesia has huge population. I was someplace in Africa. I've never been, but. Okay, we're all over the place, people. We need a list of. Focus us, Karen. We need a list of 10 or 15 and then take some off and add back in. The, we're throwing out any suggestions. The suggestions would go on the list, and then we'll take the ones off that we don't like. Okay. So, do we want Portugal on the list? Yes. I heard, okay, Portugal. And we've got Spain. Spain. Um, Brazil. So, US so far, 
China, USA, Brazil, Venezuela, Colombia, Mexico, Spain, Portugal. I, th I think we do need a, a another Asian country. Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand, I would Japan. Probably Indonesia out of those. It's huge. Yes, huge population. Population. I don't know. I don't know what type of birds they would they have though. Though that would tasty ones. I think there's a degree of affluence having pets as well. Right. So large populations with a potential. Um, well, but they're all, I think birds are also much less expensive than traditional. Right. They don't cost that much. If there's if there's poor, if there's a large population of poor, I think uh, I think they might have them more often. India, huge country, lots of people probably keep birds. Okay. Yeah, I didn't write. It is that a huge that. population. Okay, my my thinking is very different from all of yours. I'm thinking affluent countries, thinking, and so I'm thinking that. India wouldn't and China wouldn't, but they're on the list. How about no Panama? If we take Panama off, it's too small. Yeah, it's too small. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even hear Panama. I don't have it anywhere. It, it seems like I would think that the not affluent places would have affluent places would have cats and dogs. Right. But places like India and China would have. And fancy birds. birds. But, and I but think like birds and like canaries are cheap birds. Places that have small rooms. Ooh, you know. what, what about like Saudi Arabia or something? No. I don't think the population is big enough. Yeah. But if you were going to have a pet, you'd have a bird because that's something you could afford and something you could fit. And maybe Egypt or Algeria or Nigeria. South Africa, too small of a population. Do we do we kick off Australia? I think I've never seen Australians being bird people or New Zealand people. And both of those are very small countries. Well, definitely New Zealand small. So I would think Brazil or Chile, Argentina would be above. Argentina is not a bad guess. Have we have we, we said Japan? Japan? I keep trying to say Japan. <laughs> well, you said it there. So Japan? Well, they have the population. Did Sweden get they, knocked off? No Sweden, right? No Sweden or yes, Denmark. Sweden is a tiny population. I remember they had lots of birds. Okay. So but, New Zealand. You probably don't like New Zealand either. To the people. population. No New like Zealand. It. No New Zealand. New Zealand's all sheep. Okay. Did you say no to UK? I don't a maybe. UK is a maybe. If it is, it's a, it'd be low on the list, but it might it might still uh, hit that. So Germany a no or a maybe? I don't see Germans as birders, but I, um, I buy Germany. They would shoot them. Okay, Australia was an. I heard. Uh, okay, I'm gonna stop yeah. saying Australia. No more Australia. It's gone. People don't like it. Karen, it's stop Australia. it. <laughs> <laughs> Japan is on there. So uh -huh. Japan. France. Anybody like France? Nobody likes France. No. Peggy you has know, the she has stink face for France. She does not like France. France and Italy have sort of eaten all of their songbirds. You know, they they see birds as food more than pets, I think. I but, think that that's Asia. Is that racist for me to say that? I don't mean to be. No, well, I I'm think just Asia, I think Asia really has them as pets. They might eat them too, but I think they're they have songbirds. And also, be you get more uh, variety of uh, birds in that part of the world, and I think that in South America are going to get a much larger variety of birds. And I think that might be. So there are fourteen left here still, friends, unless I've missed them. USA, Brazil, Spain, Portugal, Japan. China, 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 India, India, UK, Egypt, Indonesia, Mexico, Colombia, Venezuela, and Argentina. I would take off the UK and I would take off something you said right after it. 
We don't we don't really have to, do we? Because oh, we, do we? Can we, put, we can do the top 15. So we can say 15. And we only have 14. Oh, we can okay. say 15. It says top 15. Top 15 countries is most. I think we get credit for any of the ones in the top 15 that we get was my understanding. Five, six, yeah, so we can add one. 10, 11, 12, yeah, we can 14. Add one. one, two, three. How about uh, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, to be clear, you should have 10 answers for each of your answers in the top 15. You get one point. Oh, please. we're going to take five off. answers out of the top 15. Oh, we need we, we need 14. to narrow it down to 10. Yeah, we have 14. Okay, think, so yeah, we have I to throw off. Right. I don't think the UK. I, I, I would go along with UK you. and Egypt come off. I yeah, yeah, Egypt. I agree with Egypt. I agree with Egypt coming off, and I will, I will ask that we not take UK off yet. I yes, would take else? Portugal off too. Oh God! Because they have a small population. Let's talk about South America, Argentina, <laughs> Venezuela, Colombia. Colombia should come off. It's way too small of a population. I don't know. Robin looks like she wants Colombia. I like Colombia. Well, what's a bigger population? Colombia or, or uh, Portugal? Uh, Colombia. Yeah, I would think yeah. so. Are you guys close? Most of the other groups are finishing up. So yeah, we're, nice. we're at the... We need a little more time. We're, we're at the... We've got the names we're just taking a couple off the list you're at the tail end of it as they would say we have yeah. 13 but a bump we have 13 so okay team we need to vote do we take off portugal yes or no i'm a venezuela. yes let's get rid of venezuela we're my voting are... on portugal karen my people are from venezuela stand I down know. karen my like birds <laughs> do we take it off or not portugal yes or no I... I'd say take it off. That's my vote. We got a one yes. I got a two for me. Robin? Um, yes. Ah. Three. Okay. Goodbye, Portugal. Okay. Portugal's off. Do, are right. we taking UK off or not? Yes or no? Leaving it on for now. Argentina, Venezuela, Colombia. They're too busy. Colombia, they're too I, busy. Okay. Do we want to take Venezuela off? Yes or no? A lot of recording this. No, Venezuela stays. Yeah. Anybody want to take Venezuela off? Yes. I I kind of do too because I think they're all eating their birds right now. <laughs> that's two, two to two. I don't have a. Three. I don't have a. You should be voting, but what's the, what's okay? Why don't you name the the list again? USA, Brazil, Spain, Japan, China. Argentina, Venezuela, Colombia, Mexico, India, UK, Indonesia. Come on, India. I would take US and UK off. No, leave US. Um, we got 50 seconds. We got to take what, three off or two off? Yeah, and Indonesia. Sterling, why don't you pick? Because we, we need to do this right now. All right. Uh, I'm going to say Colombia, unless anyone says no. Keep Take that one off. I don't All like right. We good with that one? Yeah. All right, Columbia comes off and one more, right? Yeah. Uh, I kind of want to say Mexico on this one. Okay, bye Mexico. USA, Brazil, right. Spain, Japan, China, Argentina, Venezuela, India, UK, Indonesia. That's 10. Four, I five, think Mexico over seven, UK. Eight, nine, 10. We empowered your child. Unless anyone wants to swap uh, UK for Mexico, but I think uh, I think UK is denser and is going to have more birds. But then in Mexico, you can see them out your window. <laughs> that was hard. So you haven't heard the answers you yet. You don't know yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, we know. <laughs> we, we know we guess like everybody else guessed so yeah we know that probably half of them are wrong just that i have a feeling we all have the same guesses too uh, the whole topic was oh mono rules mono rules well also, no not mono rules also it, you know it, our assumptions about what type right. of person would order would own birds are very different oh yeah we had a mm -hmm. we had a disagreement in ours for people who live in close proximity to jungles where a lot of beautiful birds are mm -hmm. high end you that's know they, that's but that's where they 
they captured the ball and is sent it, them to the United rich States. Countries, mm. You know, it, we're going to know in a few minutes. Go ahead, Kyle. I was for the for birds, all, the whole thing. All the guessing. The whole thing I heard a lot of correct answers. I I heard a lot of people center in on the top answer, in fact. So just to kick things off, here are the top three uh, ranked. The country with the largest pet bird population, Brazil in number one, yes. followed by Italy, followed by the U.S. Yes, that's three. And then here are four through 15 that you. Australia. No. Wow. wow. That's no. a shock. <laughs> Australia. We took that, that is a shock. Took it off our list too. So they're a very small country. They have the population basically of Florida. Oh, Karen, New that. Zealand's on there. Oh my gosh, Karen was right. We should listen to Karen. I think it's a rich person's, a rich country's pet. Looking at this list, that's yeah. Was yeah, China, like the, India. China there's no, there? there's no India and China. Yeah. Oh man, Karen was right. She says they're just going to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I said about China. We took Poland off our list. We took Poland off the list. Damn it. <laughs> now, so why not Japan? Japan is freaking wealthy. Yeah, that's what we had on the list too. I, that's, I, I swear it was Japan. Or New Zealand. Oh shit. I was oh, almost took Italy off. You know, it, it, birds was don't bow about it. About it. Amongst, so. amongst the general population, birds are just not a popular choice because uh there is a very like if you live in an urban area, then uh you all live in very close proximity, and a lot of the apartment buildings are built with almost no soundproofing at all. So like to the point of like someone talking in the room next door sounds like they're in your room. So like a bird would be uh, like unbearable. unbearable. Are, are there not some quiet birds? <laughs> no. I guess not. <laughs> Kyle. Yes, yes. Pheasant under glass. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't get a peacock because I've heard them scream and they sound like a child being murdered. That's right. <laughs> you can't even <laughs> hear the sound of your child being murdered. I, we we talked ourselves out of Portugal and Poland. I, I said New Zealand, and they said, "Oh no, no." We said Australia too, but we thought it was not, yeah, not enough. Not enough population. No Karen, Karen had a bunch Nine of them that we just told were wrong. It's Sorry. all Karen's fault. But, but I was guessing. More aggressive. But I was nice. guessing. I thought it was an affluent pet. It kind of seems to go with. Yeah, but Jap that, Japan least, should be on the list then. And, and, and so should like. And I don't think know. Brazil is affluent. So there's some right. countries. It's just big. It's big. Yeah. And, and they got a lot of birds. All right, so we went with the strategy of picking big countries, and we did pretty well just with that. Yeah, we did too. We did, did we did pretty well. I can't tell if we had one of these on the list though. All uh -oh. right, so let's Carl's been replaced. Place. Carl with a K is now Carl with no internet. <laughs> that was funny. I saw him come in, and I was nice. like, "Hey, what? <laughs> what happened yeah. to your internet, Carl? Without a K?" Your charter went down, Carl. He's on, on mute. He's on mute. And you're on he's mute. Muted, Look Carl. at him talk. How with no speaker. He has no internet and he's muted. And he's very no speaker. He's just no, throw the mic. finger across the room. Everybody, he's got a speaker because I think he's trying to figure he's it out. Take his glasses. There he is. No microphone. Mic. Yeah, my, my internet. My internet died and it's still dead. Oh no! No. 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 <laughs> I think that was an internet. Hey, death hey, hey right Carl, there. can you give me some humpback whales? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're beginning our computations at this time. It's time, 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 time. Okay, let's go over. To yeah, I'm also in the basement where the cell phone signal isn't that great. Oh my gosh! So how are we going to do this? Let's see. Oh man! Of that of that list, uh, um, Australia is the most shocking because I looked at the population of that regarding COVID, and it's just slightly bigger than Florida. I yeah. don't understand. I guess they have a lot of birds. Wow. Yeah, but there's probably wow. like everybody has like 12 birds. Wow. <laughs> Why? 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 Well, the because they like 12 tur turtle doves and it, a partridge. It's and a part of the peace song. treaty when they sign uh, <laughs> lost the war against the emus. <laughs> they, they, have, <laughs> they, they have the birds <laughs> eat all the, the insects that they don't want. Oh. Refugees. <laughs> I think and New Zealand is really a shock. They don't have the population. Amazing. They're all Kiwis. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Now, if it was pet night, nice. then you get <laughs> yes, yes, yes. right. Oh, well, let's not go there. I, I don't I, get this. <laughs> they've got a the lot kangaroo, of sheep what type of bird? 
Is the kangaroo a type of pet bird? No. no. Also not a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> New well, Zealand we was, all know was this strange, is a... like not a soul I know in New I Zealand. I don't know if anybody has birds. We, we all know, know this Italy. is a lie anyways. Birds Peter aren't real. Jackson does. Birds, oh yeah, oh, birds God. aren't real, you guys. Have you seen that? Birds you know there's real. no birds in the Planet of the Apes series? No. Yes, there is. The cornfield. When they're running through the cornfield. That's right. Run through the... Oh, I'm, I'm talking about... Uh, I'm sorry. There's a the TV show. They had the <laughs> series. And they oh, couldn't TV. show flight. Of paper airplanes, they didn't. They didn't understand the paper airplanes didn't work. So mm. how would they have a bird if they don't understand flight? So oh, they never showed them in the background. That makes all no right, sense. you guys, let's do the scores. Look at everybody's all bunched up here. The ones way up here. Okay, the Earth is not flat, but it should be seven. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Setting the standard. They talked to us on two of them. You're almost. You're in second place. Okay. <laughs> Great. Washington's walloping, washing, warning, waning. W W W W. Uh, five. Ooh. Whoa. Ooh. Okay. The foggy bottoms from Washington D.C. Eight. Good job, team. Five. Whoa! Yeah. Take the lead. For now. Nice. Okay, this is lived. the team that. This is the team that uh, Kyle was on. So what do you got? We are not a cult. I had four team. Anybody get more than that? Four. <laughs> four. Wah, wah. And proud of it. If we had listened to Karen, that would have been eight. Oh. Yeah, I was guessing. Eight or nine, actually, guessing. I think. Yeah, it, it would have been was, way high. It was at least six if we had just not thrown off the one she was desperately begging for it. <laughs> oh. I, I insisted on Japan. Okay. And so one, one, one to tie, to one to tie, two to win. What do you think? What do you think? Minus Did we get two. one or two? Zero. Minus two. Negative two? Yeah. Seven. Good for you. Nice right. work. Oh, oh man. Mm. 38. That was That's fun, Kyle. That was Kyle. <clears throat> Very nice, good. Nice spread. Interesting. Four to, four to eight. And look at these, the people came back from the end. Nobody really was that far Nice behind. spread. That was, I'm sure that was an, an inappropriate slogan at some point. The Mother Nature Butter Commercial. It's not uh, nice to read Mother Nature. Did anybody oh. guess Poland? No. Yeah, we yes, did. We, yeah, we had, we had Poland. No, we, we, we did. We, no, 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 sorry. We took it off. We thought it was a close. Yeah, I did the same thing. I said Poland and Portugal and then Australia. We yeah. took those off. Oh, yep. We, we, we had off. And Australia, Japan. France. Everybody probably had Japan, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, we, we didn't. Yeah. We took it off. We figured wow. it was a good time for limited space. Yeah, it makes sense. We, we put China and India. Did most people do that? Yes. Yeah. 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 We didn't have India because they eat the birds. We had China. <laughs> how does how does uh, a little bird taste on a roll of uh, of rice? Mm -hmm. Oh, Mick parrots! They have Mick parrots in some countries. So, so parrots. the team that got eight. Um, yeah. Did you do which ones? Did you do besides? We the had uh, uh, Brazil, Italy, USA, Australia, France. Oh, Australia! So and you, Germany. Australia got that for you. Okay. We and UK. Insisted. We insisted yeah, we, Australia we, and New Zealand. We picked Mexico, off. and I guess we should have thought that through that there wouldn't be too many. Oh, people Peggy there. said. Wanna, Peggy said, if you want to see a bird in Mexico, just look out your window. Uh, <laughs> was Mexico uh, on the list? <clears throat> no, oh, I was surprised about that one. Dad. They're not pets. They're just wild. That's yeah, funny but, but, because but, I know mm. people in Mexico and, and New Zealand, nobody in New Zealand I know has a bird. Mm. And I know Peter Jackson. people in Mexico who have birds. Peter Jackson. Mm. Peter Jackson. Now, in Mexico, there seems to be a lot of birds. I know a lot of people who talk about having been raised with a household and they'd have a Maybe they like just that. don't like, you know, maybe they just trade them around and they don't, they don't buy them in pet stores. Birds. They're not the fact like, that USA is number three is shocking to me. They don't yeah, have a, a bird sense. We, we did have Italy, but I did not think it was number two. I thought it'd be like number eight or nine. Fighting cocks. Pets. Ooh. Mm. Those, those aren't pets. So yeah, those aren't pets. All right. So we have a winner. 
It is not. It's not who I thought it would be. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> mm, and they only on. had four people on their team too, which is really funny. And they kept adding people to these. So there's, there's teams that's got one, two, three, four. Five, yeah, we had six, six in the end. One, two, three, four, five, six on the other team too. That's pretty funny. And it's then here they have quality, four. not quantity. Yeah, I, I messed <laughs> up. Two, I messed up two Rob, good job, team. you guys. Yay. I messed so, up two okay. questions for my team. I want, I want you to I know that had two more points. I was on the team when it got ten on the first round. <laughs> <laughs> I want to show Ben an inappropriate ad. Yeah, that's good. So next week we have, here's who I have playing. Bonus Carl. (laughs) (laughs) Whose names am I putting in the four categories? Deborah. What? Deborah. What? Do a category. (laughs) I will one of these days. Oh, not this week? Next week. (laughs) uh okay okay so creative. Creative. <laughs> anybody who hasn't done their home state yet just think about it yeah yeah i've done mine Keeping i did mine already too but i might do an adjacent state someday mm. but i'm not gonna tell you when what, what was this an ad for peeping toms it's a, well it's not the ad it's the packaging it's a cigar box and they had a it, they were outrageous some of them they're peeping at her. They're peeping. Okay, so I have Deborah and the and Carl's doing bonus. Okay. I'm afraid to do it after my wine category and people. <laughs> I can't do any more ever. No. I enjoyed your wine category. So does that Thank mean Peggy's doing another category? Karen has it. Karen hasn't done one in a while. Put a few multiple choices in there, and then I did a marathon fine. one last week. Yes, yeah, she did one last oh, week. Oh, what was yours last week? Turkey songs. Oh, yeah. oh yes, that was a good one. I, I purged that from my memory. <laughs> I got none Mike, of them. you got something in you? Hmm. Mike? <laughs> what? Mike. What? 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 Do you, you have a category for? Me. More stuff in Mike's house. For when? <laughs> for ne- next week, I have to go visit my parents. Oh, oh. I, I can do one. I don't have it in mind yet, but I have a bunch of you know. I, I, I have like I have, if you want me to go two weeks in a row, I have like eight ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. I could play a whole two nights myself. Yeah, uh, Janine, that might not be a bad idea. Yeah. Let's do one night. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Romero. I, I wish I was coming next week, but I'm not. Oh, I might not be here next week either. Alan, Alan. we're going to have a bunch Are of Are we not going to have a game next week? Wiley for we're have light turnout. Vincent, Alan, do you want to give it a Bye. shot, Vincent? Alan what? needs to do a music category for us. Um, I, I'm working on it. <laughs> a year in. I shouldn't be talking yeah, well, I'm still, I'm this. a slow worker. Now, you know, some people do categories where you just have a call a uh, number one through 10 and A through whatever, and people just have to match them. Um, Someone better couple, speak up. And, and I, I promise in a couple, in a couple of weeks. Okay. Easy peasy. I'm putting Rob down again. I, I'll do one. I have you. <laughs> okay. I'll do just Deborah, one. Deborah, Kevin, <laughs> Rob, and Carl doing bonus. I need one. Deborah agreed. Did I, I miss that? Yeah, Deborah agreed. Okay. Paula? What? You want to do a round? Robin? Out walking her dog. Um, I don't like to do it because I'm usually on my phone and it makes it difficult for me to like post things in the chat and stuff like that. Uh-huh. I can do one. Littered. Yeah. Right. Oh I my have gosh, to you brush guys. Up on my I'll, nuclear I'll have to start physics. doing the um, things again. Okay. Leonard, okay, Deborah, the Kevin, of thermodynamics. Um, huh? The tallest <laughs> things in the world. That's what we're yeah. The tallest <laughs> things. Art, Art already did one close to that. That's, sure. what, that's why I repeated it. Yeah. My favorite yeah. law of thermodynamics, the zeroth law. Mm. Energy exists. Mm. All right. So have, good job. So, have you heard the um, the paraphrase of the laws of thermodynamics? The first oh, yeah, law, just yesterday. The first law is paraphrased as you can't win. Mm-hmm. The second is you won't even break even. Hi, Peggy. Hi, Peggy. And the third uh, is the things house. will get worse before they get better. <laughs> and then the fourth is who says they're ever going to get better? 
<laughs> okay, so um, the the last thing I'm going to say before we leave is don't forget that we have New York City skeptics and they're looking for, I th or have they already got all their speakers for the New York City skeptics? No, so uh, Janine said not, which is, what do you, more do you know about that, Janine? Uh, I just was on Messenger with with Russ. <laughs> Yeah, Russ, right? Russ, Dubler, Russ, yeah. Russ, yeah. Russ, Russ Dubler. and he said they were they were still they still had some speaker slots. Well, if, I did it last year. Mark Edward did it. Janine did it. Adrian did. It, Rob did it. So we've had a whole bunch in our group that did it. Well, they're letting me the do event. another topic. So, oh. so you, if you got time, you could do your uh, onion ring or something like that. Well, I'm doing the Commonwealth Club for um, in January. Which is a big yeah, that's, deal. That's awesome. That is a big deal. That's scary. Hi, Hi, Alan. Alan. They do Hi, like Alan. like presidents and stuff kind of people. Um, and when uh, is the New York one? When is the New York one? December. Good night. It's, I don't know. Coming up. Coming. Anyway. It's it's uh, the eleventh. It's the eleventh. So, and skeptic camp. So I will say adieu to you all tonight and go mingle with my guests. So adieu. I'll see some of you guys on Saturday. Happy guesting. Saturday. <laughs> Don't forget, Leonard. Deborah. Forget what? <laughs> <laughs> Karen. Okay. I will see you Good night. soon. Good night, Good night everybody. Good night. 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 Good night